We're going to watch the trial of Tom, set up by Not So Erudite from last night. Obviously, she decided out of nowhere, well, not out of nowhere, off of the back of a panel about a bunch of stuff, uh, <laughs> to do a trial of Tom, to relitigate the entire Tom Tent drama. Uh, don't know why. Not not quite sure why she felt this was necessary, but we're going to get into it. I've got the receipts, as Eric like, calls them, pulled up, ready to go. So as we get to things, we can go through it, try and fact check some claims here. See if what Tom's saying now holds up to what he said in the past. And uh, yeah, hopefully it'll be fun. Uh, I'm thinking we're done with Tom Tent after this, okay? Right? This is the last arc of Tom Tent. We have to move on to better things. We cannot keep beefing with Tom Fallery. That is, it's excessive. It's gratuitous. It's over the top. It's done. Yelled at. <laughs> I, uh, I, your mic I came so to talk loud. about OnlyFans. Oh, is it really? Hold on. Well, we were going to talk about Tom. I know, I know. Greatest thing. I know, that's what I was going to say. I was literally just going to say, I came because I thought, I only came to your room because I thought we were going to talk about OnlyFans. I didn't realize you were talking with Tom about the podcast. So there's no need for me to be here. Oh, you guys no, have we, fun. We weren't talking about the podcast. We are going to talk about the, um, like, the shit from, um, from last week with, like, Kelly Jean and all that other stuff. Oh, okay. I have no, no, no. Let's keep this on a, uh, good, a go good pace, Bye. I think. Wait. Bye. Well, crap, right, I just set up all the fucking windows. And... <laughs> just kidding. Um... All right, let me fix this again. How long we going to yeah, go for? Four hours? Talking, Jesus. Throughout, um, throughout, like, the drama, most of the people that I talked to or most of the people that, like, wanted to come talk, they were all, like, very uh, sex negative or, like, even asexual sometimes. And the uh, most of the fight started with the argument that, like, lots of people want to be objectified and that's where like my chats in the like the things that i'm saying in chat came from that's where like the the overall fight came from and so wait 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 what wait sorry what what was this the podcast we're going to talk about the um like the shit from um uh, from last week with like kelly jean and all that other stuff oh okay i have no no need to be here for that either you guys can go ahead bye later bye well, crap, right, I just set up all the fucking windows. And... <laughs> just kidding. Um... All right, let me fix this again. But yeah, I, the reason that I wanted to talk to you is because throughout, um, throughout, like, the drama, most of the people that I talked to or most of the people that, like, wanted to come talk, they were all, like, very uh, sex negative or, like, even asexual sometimes. And it, all, the people that all wanted to come and talk were all very sex negative or asexual, the, okay? Uh, most of the fight started with the argument that, like, lots of people want to be objectified and that's where like my chats in the like the things what uh, when was this ever was this a disagreement at any point i don't remember this being a disagreement i thought it was all just about the way he interacted with kelly wasn't that like sure there was some like criticism where people were saying oh well if you if you do this regularly then probably women won't want to be around and tom's like well actually no lots of women like it so like, okay fair enough if, if, how's you, anyway. however you want to run your ship bro but no, the the primary argument was about Kelly, wasn't it? And the way he acted towards Kelly, specifically. Not not about broad broad discussions of, oh, wow. Uh, many people want to be objectified. No, that wasn't the conversation. I don't recall that being the conversation. Maybe, maybe I'm wrong. Don't think that was a conversation on Jay Stalks. Don't think that was a broader conversation about the drama that i'm saying a chat came from that's where like the the overall fight came from. oh and seven and so even i was already like, well, well no there was like, a criticism about seven because i actually give a fuck about what happened with seven because it's just t so convoluted but yeah you would uh what you thought or what you knew about it and um and then yeah today when you were on the panel and you're saying the same shit i was like oh well this is this is kind of what i was hoping to hear from somebody else because yeah there was like a, a period where like this all blew up so much and too many things happened in a row to where i thought i was like losing my fucking mind for a while and felt gaslit and didn't know what the fuck was going on and was looking for like rational people <laughs> and I could, couldn't really find any so yeah all right I okay well i can't guarantee you that i can stand you one way or the other because i don't yeah. really know enough about the situation do you want to just tell me what happened yeah everyone I was, was just irrational everyone but tom tom was a sea of reason uh, sorry the island of reason a sea of chaos i mean wow wow he just couldn't find a single uh, it's everyone else who is the problem it really is it's literally just everyone else that's amazing pretty disconnected from the i, I yeah. honestly have not kept up on the drama at all i, I don't know yeah the, why is hunter and lauren fighting i don't know but they're fighting I don't know. <laughs> that's yeah that's a confusing <laughs> one um 
that the main thing that happened is I was like, uh, I pull up like people's Instagram sometimes. I just gotten banned off of YouTube in the middle of a stream. We were doing like the progressive victory, like is Wick bad for disclosing this, blah, blah, blah. And in the middle of this argument, I get banned from YouTube. So I move over to kick. Everybody's moving over there. We don't have any mods. So we're like calling mods, trying to get people over there because we had a lot of people watching. And, um, and, and then like, as soon as Wick and everybody left, I'm still like going through my emails, trying to figure out why I got banned and what happened. And uh, somebody in chat, we pulled up uh, Kelly Jean arguing with counterpoints about progressive victory. And we start listening to this and somebody says, hey, Radical Coda, you can say, I was also one of the only reasonable people throughout all this, but you've been in this chat countless times over the course of Tom 10. And I have not once heard you be, be like, oh, Here's something you're saying that's, li that's a lie or that's wrong. <clears throat> so how can you be one of the only reasonable people? And I seem to have a completely different view on this to Tom. Yet you're not you're not sitting there challenging me. You're not spurging out on me like you do with Rude Mud Crab. So it doesn't seem like you've really got substantive issues with the analysis here. Yet for some reason, you you and Tom are the only reasonable people here. Okay, we're going through it right now. Okay, well, I'm sure I'm sure you have Instagram. great takes so on this. Up real quick. Uh, there's like a picture of her. I can't wait to get owned or, later. Or like anime stuff, and I say, I can cosplay? Is, yeah, we'll cosplay. And I just say like, oh, this is cultural appropriation. Somebody cancel this bitch. X out of it. Move on. Um, and then the next day, her and JC, okay, pull it up, and then say that uh, it was weird and creepy that I did this, and why was he pulling up my Instagram? This is so weird and creepy. So somebody jumps on, kind of argues like, hey, you're a fucking Instagram model. Like, it's weird for you to get upset that somebody would pull up your content. They start arguing about like whether or not that's an acceptable. But just so we're clear, just so we're clear. Tom's already lied about the drama. He's already told a lie. He said that the, the most of the arguments were coming from the idea that most that some people want to be objectified. That's not true at all. That's not where the arguments are coming from. The arguments are about his behavior with Kelly. So that's one one lie. One one lie already, at least. Or and then they get into like whether or not objectification is ever okay. And then yeah, that's when I start popping off in chat saying, like, wait, this is your content. Like, what are you talking about? You're like you guys, if I told you guys I didn't want you to pull my content up on stream, you wouldn't give a fuck. Like, you wouldn't stop reviewing my shit if I felt embarrassed or if I didn't like what you were doing. You wouldn't stop pulling my stuff up. And that's where, like, yeah, most of the, the shit came from is that I was being creepy by pulling somebody's Instagram up on stream. Okay, so you pull up somebody's... Okay, now we've got a new representation of it. Now it's, okay, I was being creepy by pulling someone's Instagram up on stream. Okay, sure. Kelly said that was creepy. Kelly did say that was creepy. Now, did most of the argument come from that? Or did most people take issue with how you responded to Kelly saying that was creepy? Because I think m most of the argument actually came from that, didn't it, Tom? Really? It came from the way you responded to Kelly. It wasn't about just it being creepy for the Instagram. Most people were like, oh yeah, if Kelly doesn't want you to do it, you shouldn't do it. But you haven't really done anything crazy wrong by doing that. But then when you responded to Kelly by saying, Kelly's always begging for my dick... Then people said, okay, no, th this, this is now a problem. So he lied the first time. He's now still kind of by, lying by omission here, I would say, because he's still leaving out that second part where it's people were upset over the way he responded to Kelly saying, don't, don't treat me like that. <clears throat> but okay, we'll keep moving. His Instagram on stream. And then they start saying that you're like creepy, like Kelly and Jay or just so Kelly. There's already a history. Well, like, was there okay. a bunch of people? Where JCLK okay. is saying that I'm a sex pest and it labeled me this numerous times and had a couple like of as a meme with me. or no, he like says it's a meme creepy. now, but yes, he came on, debated this with me twice and defended it in like other discords all over. Like, he was genuinely accusing me of being uh, a sex pest. And he said the reason was that I have so many women on that it seems like I'm trying to get in women's DMs and then I'm just kind of like waiting, hoping that they'll want to have sex with me or something like that. That was his argument for sex pesting. Um, which there's just like there's no inappropriate DMs, there's no inappropriate interactions with me and anybody else. So it just it was kind of dumb. And uh, but Kelly Jean saying this on JSTLK stream made it like this much more okay while well, it's true if, if he's talking about J Stalk's substanti substantiation for the sex pest claim that is, that is correct that there were no women that felt like Jace, that Tom had treated them poorly <clears throat> at the time that Jace took had access to however it's sort of sound, the phrasing there sounds like you're saying there are none but Seven and Kelly obviously obviously she knows about Kelly everyone knows about Kelly because that's the conversation right now but, but seven is another one that isn't being mentioned right now, which is, you know, you can, you can take it either way. I won't count that as a lie because it really can go either way. Like, yeah, he can be talking about Jay Stalk's substantiation at the time. He could be trying to downplay it now, but it's, it's really hard to tell. So we'll, we'll be fair. We'll be fair. Or uh, annoying to me that the guy who keeps running around calling me a sex fest and kind of fucking with my reputation in this way now has his co-host sitting there calling me creepy. And yeah, so that's like what, how it like led up to that was he was all, he was immediately like, oh yeah, see, he is a sex pest. See, I told you guys, he's pulling up a girl's Instagram. This is, I, I told you he was a sex pest. 
Um, okay, so they say, oh, you're a sex pest. Um, I feel like it, my understanding is that, was everyone just upset at you pulling up her Instagram DMs? Or like, because I feel that, like it wouldn't have, because I feel like didn't it go on for like days? I feel like I kept yes. hearing about the Tom drama. PB yes. was like, ah, thanks, Tom. You know, you've, uh, you've killed yeah, the drama sure. cycle on us. At that point, yes. Once I jumped on, I jump on to like argue about like whether or not it's always bad to objectify somebody. Because yeah, somebody, other people were already arguing about it on stream. And then I'm arguing in the chat. So they just tell me to hop on. I hop on. I go on there and argue with her. Um, Kelly Jean wanted me to argue with her. I was kind of trying to like argue with JCLK about the shit that he was saying, but she kept saying, this is about me, talk to me. And so I'm talking to her. She's very frustrating to talk to. Like she just, she, Kelly? yes, <laughs> she, she pivots. She like, you can go listen. Like I'm very like calm and reasonable at the beginning, but the longer the conversation goes on, the more and more frustrated I get, the more and more she's like straw manning and pivoting and like kind of obfuscating. And it was just, it was becoming more and more frustrating to where like, yes, I'm, I'm yelling and getting louder. And then after the argument was over, it was framed as like, he's yelling at somebody for calling him creepy. He's yelling at somebody for, um, for, for feeling uncomfortable about his weird actions and that wasn't that wasn't why i was yelling i was yelling because of how frustrating she is to argue with but the the argument wasn't even over like whether or not she can call me creepy the argument was over like whether or not so it's does, wrong does he think that saying that she's frustrating makes him look any better because the, the point is that you're going going into the situation where you know what the the cards are on the table it's been made clear to you that th this woman is like saying that you, you come off like a fucking creep but with the way you're pulling up her Instagram and you know, you're in like the same sort of social circles. <clears throat> so as like an adult, you, you generally have like the emotional regulation to handle that situation in a more diplomatic way. But I've, I've, so it doesn't really make you look any better that you're saying she was frustrating to talk to. I mean, you cannot, you cannot do that, but you've got to also accept the, the reality that it's very likely that person's going to hate you afterwards. So I, I, I just don't think this makes him look any better. He's like using it to explain it. He's saying like, oh, well, no, I wasn't, I wasn't shouting at her because she turned me down. I was shouting at her because she was being annoying. So, well, <laughs> I don't, I don't know that really makes much of a difference, dude. It's Instagram on stream. And yeah, just from my perspective, everything kind of got reframed afterwards and that then yes, other people were upset about this and just ended up having more and more arguments about it. Over so kind of like snowballed from there um yeah. what were like the the because somebody in chat was mentioning that you're like mods were saying something or like the reason it was creepy was actually not because of you pulling it up on stream right. because like mods i don't know what is that so so it was a mod who asked me to pull up kelly jean's instagram and then so earlier when you guys asked me on on the panel like hey what is the um you know what what did you take from that situation blah 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 i was saying like yes we in my community like we did have some chats that were saying shit like you know tits on screen or um I, I forget what, they, but they like we advocate for respectful objectification pretty often, and there's right. so some, you had like a random, like it was just like a random up. chatter because people are saying mod, but it wasn't just like a random chatter who was just like saying weird shit. So the 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 mod is the one who asked me to pull it up, from what I remember. Um, okay. I'm not sure if it was the mod who was making those chats, but I'm not I'm not really sure. Okay, said, okay. Like, so some of your chat when you pulled up the stuff made comments about Kelly Jean as well. Like what comments? Mm -hmm. Like was it just like she's sexy, or was it like? I, the main one I think was tits on screen that that people were upset about. But I, again, I, if anybody I, was that the main one people were upset about. I thought it wasn't there one that said something like uh, they want to put a baby in her. Wasn't wasn't that one? I thought that was that was my impression. Maybe I'm misremembering. I could be misremembering. Has the chats? You guys can send them to me. I don't. Uh, that one seems. I don't worse. remember exactly what each and every one was, but there were like two or three where she was saying, um, like in the argument, she kept saying I was being weird, I was being creepy. But then when I would ask her what it is I did, she would say like, oh yeah, your chat said X, Y, and Z. I'm like, okay, so you're not you're not saying I'm weird and creepy. You're saying my chat was weird and creepy. And then she would say, no, this is your behavior, this is your community, blah blah blah. And so yeah, it was it was kind of back and forth. Where like I was willing to admit like yes, there were some things said in chat that yeah, I probably um, it's probably not what we would call respectful objectification, and that we probably should try to like uh, clean this up a bit and. Um, yeah, make it to where people aren't aren't saying such explicit stuff. But uh, yeah, 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 yeah. 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 I, I don't think <laughs> respectful objectification. I'm not sure that I believe this is a thing. Wouldn't we be talking about respectful sexualization? <clears throat> Does isn't objectification inherently disrespectful because you're reducing the, a person to an object? That's what the word means. No. So this whole conversation, it seems retarded. This is a linguist. It just seems like it, it, we're, we're, we're starting off on a bad foot anyway. Because it, we shouldn't be talking... It, it doesn't seem like he's talking about objectification. He's talking about sexualization. I don't know. Whatever. Okay. Because that, um, like, that wasn't a thing that I was really defending or arguing against him. Yeah. Right. So you weren't saying, like, yeah, these chatters were based for what they were saying. You were just being like... You yeah. were just saying, like, you're not always responsible for what's in chat. Especially because it's like you might not 
mod that out if you don't think it's like that big of a deal. Yeah. Okay, gotcha. And that's like basically the extent of it is that like you went on, fought with her, which led to more people watching it, which led to more people watching it and weighing in and fighting. And probably you went on somewhere else again and maybe talked about it, which just like leads to like the drama snowball of like everyone's watching now the third inception of a new clip where you're reacting to the reaction of the original reaction or something like that. Is that correct? Yeah, sure. At the time, from <clears throat> what I was hearing and from the most, most of the people that I was talking to, they didn't even care about that stuff with Kelly Jean and JCLK so much. That D Rock Alex, as far as a base game, by the way, I'm like skeptical of it. Well, it doesn't look very fun. It doesn't look very satisfying. I'm going to be honest. It does not look right. Uh, it does not look like my kind of thing. I've been playing a lot of tiny rogues, so okay. This is my uh, roguelike tangent, okay. Nightly roguelike tangent. Uh, what like after a panel, I'm getting ready to get off. Somebody sends me a video. I pull up the video. I X out of the video, and it pulls up my fucking library. There's a nude there. Somebody's nude. Total accident. That fucked like a whole lot more shit up. That made everything a much uh, much worse deal. The the Kelly Jean stuff didn't seem to to like matter as much to people, but the but I, I did oh, want to get like was a leaked nude. On it. Was it yeah. like a was it like a partner or like was it some, was it a leaked nude that somebody or like did you buy somebody's only fan maybe and had their nude downloaded and it got leaked or something no it was just something that somebody sent to me and that no, so uh, accidentally ended up on my screen and mm -hmm. afterwards there are like dms of people asking hey is it this person hey is it that person did this has this person ever sent you news and me just kind of lying to everybody saying like no it's not that person you don't know what you're talking about and then yeah like a lot of people got really upset that i lied about whose nude it was because i was uh like obviously i didn't want to have to disclose that information or wanted to keep it private and so yeah people felt like that was uh dishonest of me and but the uh, well yeah. one thing he keeps saying as well is um well of course i lied about mantis i i, I of course i lied about mantis to sass i lied about mantis to everyone I, I would always lie about personal relationships to everyone it seems it just seems like a weird standard set in your life at all i i don't i wouldn't i don't think i would do this where i say to someone oh yeah if you ask me about this, i'm gonna lie it no it would be if you ask me about this, I'm not going to talk about it. <clears throat> it would be if someone asks you a question. Oh, are you seeing someone? Are you seeing this person? I don't, I'm not talking about that with you. I've told you not to. I'm not talking about that with you. That's that's what you. Surely that's what you would do, no? Why why would you have a standard where you lie? I don't I don't know, Egypt. That's me. That's me personally. Yeah, the main thing was that I was wanting to know, like your. Uh, you, you talk a lot about like making women feel. Uh, like safe in this space and you had this conversation with destiny shortly after and we did all, like pretty consistently yes like we talked about women we talked about men's bodies we would pull up men and women's instagrams and shit like that and um uh, and women in this space in my community seemed to like grow and we had more and more women here and it seemed to be something that was uh well accepted but the idea that uh, uh the main argument that a lot of people made wasn't that like it's ever wrong or weird to pull up somebody's instagram but that it is if they work in this space with you and i want to know like what you thought about that and if you felt like if somebody pulled up your instagram on stream would that make you feel uncomfortable or like would that be a, uh, something problematic for you i mean my instagram content is a fair bit different um if you like had a bunch of bikini nature. pics and stuff let's let's assume it's just hard for me to put myself there because the answer for me would probably be yes but i don't know if it would be the same reason for like kelly but like the reason i would say this is like i'm just really insecure about my body um but that's also why i don't tend to like put up a bunch of photos like that is i like don't have the healthiest relationship with my body mm -hmm. um and i know social media is going to make that worse not better so yeah. thanks for the tier one membership fake weiss would i feel uncomfortable with it being pulled up not necessarily i think it's tough because it's like so is it is all that happened and why people upset is that you just like pulled it up on screen it flashed like 20 seconds and then you like took it down 21.93, yeah, isn't it? 21. Point, yeah, 21.93, I think, right? That was her BMI. Not the nude or what? No, 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 just the, Kel just the Kelly stuff. I, the Kelly it sounds like the nude is an individual, somebody, so I really yeah. want to protect that individual. I don't want to yes. like, add extra fuel to that. The, um, I think somebody counted, and it was like 17 seconds or 20 seconds or something is how long it was on there. Um, So yeah, it wasn't like we're sitting there for like five, 10 minutes or anything. Like yeah, that. I mean, I think bringing up an Instagram of somebody is fine um, in and of itself. I guess the, if like and you're noticing- also, There isn't like one reason that anybody was mad. Like literally every person I've yeah, talked sure. about this had a very different perspective. Wait, please never forget the big Nick, Nick O'Teen, posted Erudite's BMI and Spicy Chat to win an internet debate. Please, please never, never forget that. Okay, guys, make sure no one ever forgets that. Post the screenshot in farms. What of the twenty one point nine three moment? Haha. <laughs> ah. Oh. God. Saying she is not overweight is like this is DK. <laughs> Saying something about Eric like being fat. Big Nick says, "There's her BMI." It's cool if you like skinny chicks. If you're going to say overweight, it might as well be based on something. 21.93.
you're in the healthy weight range. Wait, it wasn't even about Erudite. You weren't even calling, it was some other person. You were calling someone else fat and he thought it was about Erudite. <laughs> oh man, what a fucking idiot. Oh, dude. Oh, man. Evil Foss says, Yo, Erudite, stay shitting on Queeman. She don't approve him moving up in the space. That's so true. She trying to keep her brother down. You know how it be. You know how it do, Evil Fossil. Every argument I had was very yeah. different from the last one, so yeah. And yeah, I think it's fair that you might not realize that she might not be comfortable with the Instagram being pulled up necessarily. Uh, when she voiced the discomfort, were you basically, like, what was your response when she voiced the discomfort? So there, there was a couple of things. So like, obviously there's the screenshot of me saying like, I'll pull up your Instagram. I'll, you know, I'll keep doing it every day. But it was more of like, I, I, if somebody says that as a, like an individual, yeah, I don't, I don't want to like keep pulling up their shit. But I also didn't like the idea of like, this is a wrong thing to do and that you should know better. And so I was more so trying to argue from some sort of like a moral position or logical position that like, yes, if you're putting this shit up, this is your content. This is part of your brand as Kelly Jean. It's not a different name that I went and found and then pulled it up and attached it to your, to your Kelly Jean brand. Like it's a Kelly Jean on the Instagram. Like that. Yeah. Like if you don't want people engaging with this content, then you probably just shouldn't make the content. Um, but like, yeah, in general, if somebody just says like, don't do it, I wouldn't, yeah, I wouldn't keep doing it. Yeah, I mean, it's super tough because I would say, like, the issue is that you have two things, which, like, debate perverts, I think, run into this issue. There's things that interpersonally you should be required, you should do, that maybe ideologically are not the same thing, right? So, like, in my mind, I don't think it's bad to pull up someone, public personas. Like, even if you pulled mine up and I've got one photo of, like, my butt, my ass is definitely, like, showing because I worked extremely hard on my ass, right? So you pulled it up Jesus and there's a bunch Christ. of comments that were like, kind of negative and made me uncomfortable. <laughs> I don't know if I'd feel okay being, like, yeah. that's bad that you pulled it up in the first place. But if I say to you, like, hey... I'm not super comfortable with the pictures being up. And then you like fought me at an ideological level. I would be like, uh, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm just, just not comfortable with it. Like, I don't, I don't want to fight about ideas. I just would prefer if like you take these things down. So I, like, even though maybe at an ideological level, there's an element where I agree. Like if you, obviously, if you like make these photos uh, and they get pulled up, it might be fine. But again, this really depends on what's in the chat as well. Like mm -hmm. if I pull, say you pulled it up and then there's a whole bunch of nasty comments about my ass and you like laughed at them and yes, mad them. And like, you like, read one of the chats that was like wow erudite you can tell she's hit the wall like her ass is full of like celery, or something like that <laughs> and you like go. laugh that's and you like look at it and you're like so true guys that would be totally that's different to you, right? you're like what the fuck tom like we're friends what the fuck are you doing right so yeah. obviously we're i'm having a hard time because i don't know the context of like how you pull it up what was in the chat and then how you reacted to the chat yeah so the main thing that people were upset about was what i said in jslk's chat like i said like a bunch of things like uh i think one of the, i think the main thing that people were upset, i said that she's like begging for my dick that she's in love with me or something like that and um okay. that yeah and that or that i was yeah gonna keep pulling it up that this is her content so like this is uh you know this this is like a like don't make the content if you don't want this then when they started arguing about like uh objectification and that objectification is always bad i started saying like your your literal job is like objectification like that's your entire that's your entire like brand on the internet like what and so yeah these like the the idea that you should never objectify somebody the the i from my point of view i was trying to make like a self-deprecating like thing where i'm saying like she's begging for my dick if she's calling me like weird and creepy like to me i thought it was funny. self i keep saying this self-deprecate i don't think you know self-deprecating humor i don't think he knows what that means I, I'm losing it. But, uh, I apparently not. wasn't wasn't uh, wasn't good timing. So yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah, I feel like any PR analyst in the world would probably tell you that's not the best way to respond. Yeah. Um. Like, question is like, are you like a major sex pest and like lying and stuff? Because um, it seems like um, yeah. So some of the DMs that I'm getting of like what you said is Kelly's begging for my dick. Like you said, it's not sexual harassment. It's public content. Defend myself against what? She's a public ethos. She exists for objectification. I will keep Kelly's tits on my screen every stream, uh, and then screaming, get on there, Tom. Yeah. Okay. Um. So maybe fill me in. What are people's what are people's issues with it that you understand, and what do you think about it? Like looking back, uh, I so I know my mind frame from saying it, and so my thought is like, yes, this isn't like what people are turning it into, but also I understand like how some people are seeing it. I think there's there's just it's kind of like a bunch of mixed emotions because in one sense like it's JSTLK and his audience that are like have always kind of been bad faith in the way they engage with me, and I've always kind of tried to frame things in this way, anyways. And so from my mm -hmm. perspective, like it didn't. Yeah, I don't really give so a fuck. Do you have fuck, animosity like, with this community? Like, you were already kind of at odds with this community? Yeah, for, like, months at okay. this point, like, already had okay. issues. They, even earlier in the day, they, like, uh, somebody came and, like, was trying to pretend to be a reporter and was trying to, like, fuck with me and, like, recording me and then sending it to JCLK, and then JCLK is playing it on stream. Okay. <laughs> well, he's saying that they're, like, being bad faith. This isn't, like, being bad faith. This is someone just trolling you. I don't know why he's using this example. I, I feel like just pointing to, like, the other instances of sex pest stuff or something like that would be... This is, like, a better way to... Arguments like that, that's a good way to point out being bad faith. Max like the Confess Zero are super shatted $9.99. $9.99 from Max the Confess Zero are. Big things are coming soon. Stand back and stand by. A storm is coming. Stay tuned, popcorn. Thank you for the ominous super chat, Max the Confessor. Thank you very much. Classic reference to the day of the storm there. 
Classic disco drama reference. Stream literally like, I don't know, 30, 45 minutes before all of this happened. And so, yeah, so it was just like constantly like that sort of shit. And then this being said on JCLK stream to where he's like using this again as, because I, I kept saying every time he would say like, oh, oh you're a sex pest. I'd be like, there's literally no complaints from women about me anywhere. So like they keep mm -hmm. using this is, is insane. But then now there's like this complaint that I'm being weird and creepy in a thing that I think is like pretty justified that I don't think is weird and creepy. That's just giving JCLK ammo to now say, oh, well, now we have somebody who's actually uh, complaining about him. See, I told you guys yeah. he was a sex pest. And so, yeah, the like the idea of like a, a sex pest, even with this shit, that doesn't seem to add up to me. And Anyways, but yes, like obviously I'm being like hyperbolic and arguing against people who are hyperbolic and uh, excessive in the way that they argue. And so, yeah, my mind frame at the time was like, yeah, this is like the way that these people engage. I just watched her go off on like Anna a week before. I just watched her go off on counterpoints the day before. And so, yeah, to me, like my mind frame at the time was like, yeah, this is the way that they argue with each other. Like this isn't a, a big problem, but yeah. Okay, so. Um... Yeah, in hindsight, like obviously seeing the way that an outsider would look at it. Like, yeah, obviously it looks horrible. Right. And then who's, what's the seven stuff? I, I don't, people keep saying the word name seven. Um, seven. Just to be clear, before I ask you a bunch about it, has she expressly said to others to stop talking about it? Because even though I'm just a, I'm not a content brain person at all. So mm -hmm. if she's uncomfortable with even you and I discussing it at this point, I don't want to facilitate that. Just no, I, if, I talked to seven and told her like, hey, I can take like all the content down and everything. And she's like, no, I would never ask you to do that. Like, this is fine. I just wanted to like express my opinion. Though. So as far as I know, and she's gone and talked about it numerous times. Um, the seven, similar thing, we like pulled up her Twitter. So what? <laughs> It feels like he played a little bit of a trick there, because he goes, I've spoken to Seven, I've said I can take any of the content down, she said, no, this is fine, she's expressed her opinion on this. It, it That seems like a bit tricky, because that, this is fine, is like a very vague statement, because he's saying this is fine in regards to the content staying up. But it, it almost sounds like the way he's talking about this is like he's saying the whole thing is smoothed over. It's not. Seven fucking hates Tom. Seven's not happy about the way Tom was. I mean, I yeah, like, no more Seven Tent you're saying this. I fucking don't want to do the Seven Tent either. It's a fucking horrific, just like, mess to untangle some kind of rough social interactions. Well, I get it. <laughs> but for most of us, we we don't we don't want to sit here and dig into like it's horrific. Look, it's a horrific. Those DMs are horrific. No, there is no one chat summary of the seven shit radical coder. It requires a full course. It's like a six week job, ten ten hours a week. Six weeks. Compulsory assigned work for home. Get Ike on to explain. It's not that this is the thing, is it's it's not worth it. It's not worth it. It's like she was uncomfortable with him pulling stuff up and then he was like kind of dishonest in the way he presented the way he pulled stuff up, and then she was upset with that. And they went back and forth and it's like it's like every tom interaction but but it, it condensed into like this really tight just set of dms where it's impossible to understand who exactly meant what at what time it's just horrible i know a really bad job of summarizing it, but so does everyone okay i tried to have icon to explain it as like a full hour of icon trying to tell me what this is about it was horrible jesus looked at some pictures ever like uh i don't remember if other people in the chat said something bad i i know i yeah. didn't but uh um, i said yeah yeah, yeah. so said, so she was like i'm happy about it and he was dishonest in how he presented it and then she found out he'd done it three other times <clears throat> and then she went to him about that and then i don't know what he said in response i don't know but maybe quite like later, in chat, I don't happened, know. that it made her uncomfortable and that uh she uh and that she like questioned doing uh content and yeah when she messaged me this three months later i was immediately like i'm sorry i didn't know my bad like i didn't uh yeah offer to take the content down like it was a very different reaction in a very different uh sort of setting but yeah and someone like uh... okay um okay some people a mod of mine just reached out and like let me know that they prefer this not being talked about so i'll just like okay. steal away so um yeah so obviously i'll speak to my experience with you um obviously you've brought up a couple of things to me where people are being like super creepy about me um that like weirdo that i'm pretty sure it's the same guy who like keeps threatening me with deepfakes uh messaged you and you just like let me know um so that i could like deal with it and stuff like that 
um, and kept linking a Twitter of like this woman who looks nothing like me, but claiming mm -hmm. that it's me and something like that. Um, so obviously you've been like, threatening like, her for my face. experience, nothing but good, but that doesn't mean that doesn't, that doesn't actually mean anything, unfortunately, because sure. it's like, okay, well, if you have like, uh, I'm forever. married, um, stuff like that. I mean, so there's still no, as far as I know, yeah, there's still no like claims of me being like creepy and DMs with anybody or like, yeah, coming on to girls or anything like that. There's, there have been no claims of this. Yeah. Just, just um, the chats, yeah. Yeah. And so it's tough because it, I have like a, the issue, probably your biggest issue that I'm hearing, at least with the Kelly, I'm going to focus on the Kelly stuff because I don't know anything about the nudes or the other individual. And it sounds like they don't want to bring it up. So I'm going to be like cautious of that. Um, unless like basically those two individuals reach out to me explicitly and say like, I can talk to you about it. I just probably wouldn't. Um, so about the Kelly stuff, at least. I think the issue is that like, at best, what you did is kind of like the cringy, stupid debate bro thing, which is like when a person says like, sure. I'm feeling uncomfortable. And I'm not saying that Kelly necessarily worded it in the most appropriate way necessarily either. Um, but regardless, when she says, I'm not cool with this, your reaction was to like, kind of double and then triple down and then like call her an ethot and like call her names and like make like inappropriate oh comments. yeah that's a great point love machine is right i'm really happy i'm happy to see what 345 viewers right now that's just crazy that's insane huge thing i should oh, fuck i didn't message chad saying thanks for the raid idiot but, oh, great it's great to see 345 viewers here great to see we've got 345 viewers here but we have only got 50 likes, which is which is pretty shameful. That, that means there's like 300, 300 people, roughly, that haven't liked the stream that could. So that's kind of rough. Uh, if you guys could fix that, that'd be great. That'd be amazing. I'd really appreciate that. Also, just let you know, you can also subscribe to the channel, uh, donate, um, buy a membership, um, gift membership, buy a super chat if you want. Also, there's merch on the channel page. Also, you can go to discord.gg slash queenman, twitter.com slash queenman. Okay, chill over. <laughs> so it gets to this position where, like, it looks like when she's saying no, that the no isn't okay. And in fact, you, like, double down on, like, on, like, sexually objectifying her, um, which is, I think, the biggest issue that you're kind of, like, running into here. I don't know if you're doing that because you feel like that was right to do, or if you were just, like, kind of, like, getting, like, debate perverted in your head. I shouldn't say that word. Sorry, debate bro in your head. Yeah, just um, debate bro. Like, I, I, from my perspective, like, yeah, saying, like, um, how could he objectify me when it seems like your, your content is objectification? And then saying, like, oh, like, pulling out my Instagram, like, I'm, this is Twitch politics. Why would somebody do that? I'm like, that's your, that's your literal content. That's who you are. Like, you are, like, that's, that's your brand. You're an Instagram mom. That's your entire shit. So when I'm saying, like, yes, you're, you're an ethot, like, that's your value. Like, I'm saying, like, you're, you're in this space because you're an Instagram mom. That's who you are. That's, like, your that's like i'm here because i debate and i cover like uh drama and I, I i go over news and shit like that's that's who i am that's my fucking shit like hers is an instagram model from like from what i understand so yeah it was uh being that's not very nice is it really that's like the arguments from my perspective at the time make sense but they're yeah they're they're definitely not great <laughs> in, in hindsight yeah. yeah i mean the issue is basically what it looks like is woman says no you say basically if, if i read it the worst way whatever bitch you already have your tits out anyways you deserve this right which is like <laughs> not the response you want to have and then when she continues to say like it makes me uncomfortable you say i'm going to show if it, it makes you uncomfortable i'm going to do it every single day um <laughs> which is not a very good look so even if you're being debate bro i guess the question is so here's the thing right in my mind there's going to be the drama frogs that will never let you go they will always paint you as an immoral evil sex pest that's that 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 group exists and the reality is like you, there's not much you can do about them and then in between yeah. is probably a lot of really good faith stuff and this is like something what, um, like, by the way i'm i'm gonna risk sounding preachy so i you, you you're all of a sudden you're immoral you're like this this horrible drama farmer who's like trying to kill this guy if you just don't accept his explanation for the events that how i just what is this framing what is this framing she does this constantly the drama farmers the dra they all do it all these dgg freaks do it the drama farmers the drama farmers shut the fuck up what does that mean drama farmer she says it means someone that trumps up claims for the sake of content. <clears throat> but, I mean, show me the claims that are trumped up. Where's the claim that's trumped up? Was Se Sex Pest, was that trumped up from JSTALK the first time he said it? Yeah, 100%. Yeah, he trumped that up, sure, when he was a chatter. Yes, 100%. <clears throat> is it really trumping it up to say someone is a sex pest if they get sexually aggressive with a woman after being told that the woman is uncomfortable? I don't think so. No, I don't think that's a trumping up of that. I think that fits. I think that's fine. If someone wants to use that term, that's fine. He was saying it was a sex person. I don't know what you mean. Before the chats. I don't know. Maybe he was. I don't know. I'm not going to sit here and defend every single thing Jason's ever said, ultimately. But 
I, I know that I'm being lumped in with drama farming is the point here. It's like, it's not like I even, if someone generally wants to say like, oh, you, you drama farm, like, yeah, sure. I, I do drama farm, but I don't like this, uh, th this framing of it as a reason to d ignore all the claims or as like a slight against your character. It's like uh, drama farming is always my thing. That's content. Like what's, You've got to come with something a bit more substantial than that. Say, this is a claim that's wrong. You're trumping up this claim. You don't have the evidence for this. Yeah, you've got to do that. You can't just go, oh, these people are drama forms. These people are bad faith. I'd absolutely defend everything you've ever said, and you wouldn't do the same for me. You changed. <laughs> oh, we're getting some beef sharp here. Radical Coda says, I think Jace is a far more obnoxious drama farmer. I don't think it's bad to farm drama. Sure, you might think that, but that's not how it's being used here, is it? The way it's being used by Erudite and by Tom is they're saying these are like bad faith drama farmers. They're saying it's it's dishonest. They're saying that the things are unfounded or, or trumped up and that it's causing people problems that, that were, were an issue. Almost that Erudite thinks probably that me and Jstalk shouldn't be around. Like, let's be real. Frankly, you know, like, I, I don't know how far I want to take this really, but the way Erudite talks about it, she said I was manipulating J. We'll get into this. She said I was manipulating Jstalk. She says I'm dishonest. She's sort of saying that I'm like a sneaky, snaky. One might say, Semitic individual. It, it, that's how she's presenting me. <clears throat> now, I don't want to say Erudite's a Nazi. I don't want to call Erudite a Nazi. <clears throat> but I think given the opportunity, she probably would kill me. Given the opportunity, she would kill me. I just think that's something to think about, okay? No, you've been in the industry like longer than I have, so feel free to be like, shut the fuck up, Kyla. I know all of this, so don't tell me how to do my job. But like in my space and learning, there's the middle of the fence, good faith people, and those are the people that I need to speak to and like address. Yeah, know, of course. Are there criticisms that they're making that are valid? So I guess after those posts and stuff got out, those messages got out, did you go on to defend them for a little bit? Like when you got, because you said go at the end, you said get on their time. So I'm assuming that you went on stream after typing those messages. Did you like defend we those messages? I, from what I remember, and I, I could be wrong, but from what I remember, we didn't actually get into the messages. Most of what we talked about was just whether or not it's wrong to pull up the Instagram in the first place, whether or not it makes sense for her to get upset with somebody just pulling up the Instagram, whether or not uh, what like the chat says. She did. She did also call me a digger, which is quite anti-Semitic. What, what, what am I digging for? Gold? Uh, what's the implication there? makes me weird and creepy i think that that's like mostly what it was that we were arguing later on the only defense that i had of the the chat messages oh yeah tunnels tunnels true harassment. true true she's like she's tunnel jacketing me true 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 fuck dude how did i not notice that the first time around it's so fuck that she's doing this and they call me retarded as well they all call me stupid but yet somehow I'm able to convince everyone that they're dumb. So like, it's like, my enemy is weak, but also strong. You know, it's like Vosh says that the fascists do. I learned that from Vosh. So I think there's a lot to think about here, really. There's a lot to consider. <clears throat> God of receipts. Like you say, I'm trying to refund shit. You're saying I'm I'm on top of my finances. You're saying I'm a stickler for the price. That's kind of fucked. That is kind of fucked. I can't believe Kyler's doing this. I cannot believe Kyler's doing this. It's just me, like we don't uh, fuck with that racist that they're saying on stream, but that like yeah, it probably wasn't wasn't a great thing to say. I think it was like what I what I was uh, saying. I think the the very next day, yeah, when I'm like arguing with a bunch of people about this. Yeah. And so I think like the tricky thing is, is if you agree that the messages that you made were like not like, even if you're like, I had good reason for them, you realize like, fuck, like those, those were yikes. Um, I think like a really big thing is making sure that your apology is as big as like the possible harm that you've done. Yeah. Um, and so I don't actually know. Have you done that with Kelly? Have you like reached out? Or at least she might not want you reaching out. Have you at least like publicly been like, hey, I'm really sorry. Like yeah. this wasn't appropriate. I shouldn't have said these things. Uh, on, I, I don't remember exactly. On, on a wick stream, um, we did talk, never pays I, I do think I started to apologize, but she said I don't give a fuck about apologies or something like that. Um, and I, I think 
I, if I remember correctly, that's how it went. But this is like three weeks ago at this point, so I'm not, I'm not positive. But yeah, I, I think even on my own stream, I did say like, yes, if that's like, if, if she was just trying to say how she felt and then felt like I was arguing against her now, again, like trying to change her mind on how she felt, that's my bad. I don't, I don't think that's what happened. Uh, but like, I, that was definitely not my intention was to try to like change her mind on her feelings or anything like that. Okay. Um, heard. I guess. Um, I do you want to keep talking about that? Because a lot of people are suggesting. So like, I, I don't know. I have some receipts, obviously. Um, <laughs> and so. <laughs> Kyla, why are you still wearing jokers? That ish weird, bruh. You can ask whatever <laughs> you want. Well, I'm wondering if basically, like, do you want somebody who, like, disagrees with you to come on and I can kind of, like, listen to both and, like, figure out what's going on? Obviously, you don't have to do that if you don't want to. I'm just trying to figure out. So, like, you're saying that you doubled that, like, you did try to apologize. And my chat is being like, no, he didn't. He doubled down. And I don't necessarily believe my chat. I don't know what to think. And so, like, the I only thing I can think of is up, uh, Yeah, I'm pretty sure on a on Wix stream when we all talked about this, I, I'm almost positive that I did not double down and that I said, like, yeah, that is my bad. I didn't mean to, like, try to change your mind on anything. Like, you, you, at the end of the argument, that's kind of what she said was, like, you're trying to argue me out of my feelings. And I was like, okay, then, like, fuck this shit. I wasn't here to argue with you about your feelings. So just whatever and left. But then, yeah, days later, I think on the Wix panel, um, and yeah, I can try to pull it up, but I, I'm, I'm almost positive that, yes, I did say, uh, it, like, yes, the, the, um, like the defending of the chats was me saying like, yes, I don't think this is sexual harassment. Not like this is a good thing to say that that wasn't my defense of it. It was just that, yes, I don't see this as sexual harassment or sex testing, but yeah, probably. Okay, not I want to speed there. through this, but um, I want to get to a, yeah. the real trial here. Listen. Yeah, I feel like we're, we're rehashing the sex pest thing again. Well, not, well, not the sex pest thing, but the, the, I'll be clear. The Instagram thing with Kelly, we're rehashing that right now. I feel like pretty much everyone is on roughly the same page with that one. Uh, the, the the broader lies are probably the more interesting part here. I don't think there's... Like, yeah, it's it's not crazy weird to pull up the Instagram in the first place, though it could be uncomfortable for some people. Once someone expresses it, uh, you should probably stop if you want to continue having a relationship with that person. Yep, seems pretty clear. Freaking out was the wrong move. How about signs? I don't mind if you pull somebody on is there anyone I don't think, I don't think anyone that really disagrees that, 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 that anyone disagree with any of that everybody that i feel like i've already spoken to about it so if there's somebody else I, I don't know. uh yeah i suggested empty but he's busy so he can't come on you're good i'm pulling up the transcript on this one k k kyla I mean, I said it was weird and creepy sure but i didn't like say oh my god this is such a gentleman she like that i care that much about it obviously not but like that doesn't make other people I am uh, sorry, like that was not what if I that was. If that was yeah, I said, I said right here. Uh, let's see. Uh, that was not my intention, was not to make you feel uncomfortable. So for that, I'm I'm sorry. Like, uh, that was not what I wanted. Was if your intention, uh, and then she says, if that was your intention, you probably shouldn't have doubled down. So, okay. Sorry, that's between you and. That's me talking to uh, Kelly Jean on Wix channel with Jason okay, and Brittany Simon. On Wix channel? Mm -hmm. So you said sorry, and she said, you, if you actually mean sorry, you should double down. Yeah, just she said, well, you yeah, but right down. Code, he didn't just say, I'm sorry you feel that way. He was also reaffirming, he was saying, I did apologize to you. I did apologize to you again and again. But he didn't. He said, "I sorry, you feel that way." It's not. It's not an apology. Referring to the comments, or she referring to like what I, is she referring to? Yeah, I assume she's talking talking about me jumping on and like arguing with her about Bating this. Her? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, but she didn't bring up. Nobody in the just like stream brought up your comments in the so, chat. So they pulled it you out. Guys are yeah. So JCOK pulls it up and he's like, "Can we move on to these comments?" And I was like, "Well, we're literally in the middle of arguing about this. If you want to move on, we can. But like, I, I would need some sort of resolution with this." And JCOK says, "Kelly, can you please just like move on? Because I'd rather talk about the comments." She says, "No, I want to. I want to stay on this." And so oh yeah, and then also that, going on stream like the next day and going, "I apologize for absolutely nothing." Like constantly back and forth. Yeah. Before we get to the comments from what I remember, but yeah. And then we do. I, I do end up talking to other people about the comments on my stream afterwards. So yeah. Right. And basically, they talk about like how you should have said that. Blah, blah, blah. Yes. Okay. So then I guess my it sounds like. Have most people been the bridge with you? Like, what is the standing of your relationships with other streamers now? Again, because over have that, you lost multiple relationships? Over that, was no. the, yes, there, there was, was the, 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 yeah, there, there was, yes, it was like relationships with other people that uh, were damaged over like very separate things that, yes, didn't really have anything to do with this. That were just on the back of one another? Yes. Okay. Um, and do people, when they burn the bridge, do they say that it's because of like a unifying pattern of like sexual impropriety, essentially? Or, um, it sounds like Dave is down to join as well, if you want. Yeah, but yeah, no, the, the, as far as I know, there weren't any bridges burnt over this that I can, that I'm aware of. Um, okay. um, I got a clip sent to me. I'm going to send it to you so you can watch it. I'm just going to watch okay. this quickly on stream. Um, and do you want to send me a link to your server? I think just like wants to come on to it if you want in. Yeah, that's fine. Um, where are you? Okay, that's cool. Some of their you tell me that this isn't weird. Like that. that he just pulls this up, stops talking. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, this seven, is something totally different eight, than what we're talking nine, about. Nine, ten, okay. eleven, twelve, oh, 13, this is coming time. fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. I don't, I don't yeah, I don't know. This is just a, a totally separate thing. That's not Kelly Jean. Did they start covering this before they saw you covered Kelly, Kelly Jean stuff, or was this after? After. Okay. 
Okay. Let's, let's just come on now. This is uh flailing. Let's get Jay stuck in here. Let's get the real shit going. Did you just send Kyle? Like, what's the point of that? Who? Because you're talking about me. I didn't send Kyle anything. You talking to Dave? I didn't send her. Okay, sorry. The thing said JCLK on it. I guess I assumed it came from you, but I guess it's just from your stream. I was gonna send a clip of when you went up on there and just to show that you did. He did bring up the um messages that were in chat, and he did ask you about them, and you basically doubled down on them when he did bring them up. Thank you. But I'm gonna wait for Eric to get back because I wanna, you know. Getting everything before she has a chance to talk. Hello. Hello. Hi. Jay, do I have a do I have a fun image that pops up now on your screen? I'm so jealous. I want one so bad. I know I don't. Not yet. Damn. Oh, All right. So what? What's everybody doing here? What's up? Okay, you guys. Okay, I'm coming okay. through again. I'm Michael. Okay. You don't have that picture yet, right? But we'll get on that at some point. Who is that in top left? That is Emp Dave, former Tom moderator. Looks like the fat guy from Dune, what, Baron Harkonnen? Oh, yeah. um, okay, so my understanding, here, I'll recap my understanding. Um, and then obviously, Tom, if I mistell it as you told me, I want you to correct me because I don't want to put words in your mouth that are unfair. And then if you guys feel like he's missing information, if you just like want to let me know, because I'm just trying to get heads or tails of this now. Um, so yeah, um, my understanding is, uh, Tom, uh, was uh, were you reacting to Kelly and just like, oh, you were reacting to Kelly and just like reacting to Wick drama about Progressive Victory, correct? I think they were actually talking to Wick and Counterpoints at the time. Right. Yes. And um, you, just to be totally oh. clear, it was Counterpoints was upset with Kelly because Kelly was trying to get me to switch off of some interview he was doing and she called him right. boring. Or sorry, she called the interview boring. She did not call Connor boring, but Connor interpreted it as her calling him boring. So they were just fighting. It wasn't anything to do with Progressive Victory yet at all. Oh, okay. Uh, regardless, um, so my understanding is uh, you were kind of reviewing them fighting about stuff. And then um, my understanding is that you have tension with Jay and with Kelly. Okay, um, let's, let's, let's you don't bring like this back. 1.5. Here we go. Jay's still in the call. Let's go. Point. And then somebody in the chat says, check out her Instagram. So you cool. pull it up. Is that what happened? Yeah. I don't know that I ever had tension with Kelly before this. I didn't, I don't okay, think sorry. I had any issues with her before, but yeah, the, like we were pulling it up to watch the progressive victory thing. I think we had just pulled up the video. I don't know how long it had been on stream, but like, again, this was like three weeks ago at this point. So I'm just telling it how I remember it that. Yeah. They, um, that yeah, they, we pulled it up and then uh, like pretty shortly after pulling it up, somebody says, pull up Kelly's Instagram. Yeah. Okay. Gotcha. Um, and then you pull up her Instagram. You look at it for about 20 seconds. Do you say anything while it's on screen? The, um, the there's comments. Her for... I've heard a famous glitch in now. There's a commenter that says very, you know, like, make it bigger, blah, 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 blah. Um, do you make any comments about it? Just what, what so I said good. was uh, the, the uh, cancel this bitch. That's cultural appropriation. That's I'm pretty sure that's all that came out of my mouth. Okay. And then there was a chatter. Sounds like his name is Glitchin. That said a bunch of stuff. Uh, I'm thinking of it to me. Uh, Tom, pull up Instagram. Coom material while you talk ethics. I don't know why YouTube stuff in circle. Looks like he's just talking about business. Uh, you can you at least zoom in on Kelly? Make Kelly bigger, please. I don't care. Put tits on. Tom Fullery, you're on kick. Pull up OnlyFans. Common Kelly W. Make Kelly. Why the fuck would Tom go on and keep this going? Well, he he didn't. Erudite just decided she wanted to have her shot at it. She just wanted to do her relitigation of it for some fucking reason. <clears throat> but I mean, I'm here for it. One. Final Tom Tent arc. One final Tom Tent. One last time, okay. And then we're done for real this time. Be bigger. It's a partnership. I don't know why Jube stuff is circled with also. Uh, the only reason that Jube stuff was, was there because originally they thought it was him. Yeah, well, I thought it was Jube that said pull up the Instagram. So that's the like people were pointing out that it wasn't that Jube wasn't saying those things that it was Glitchin who said. Oh, okay, okay, okay. okay. So yeah. Jube said nothing. Good, he's cleared. Name cleared. Okay, Jube is not being pulled in. Um, Glitchin asked you to make it bigger. Um, one last that? peep. Uh, so no, 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 Tom, did you respond to Glitchin? Did you make no, it bigger? I wasn't even like looking at the chat. Yeah, I just saw. Uh, you took it down. Yeah. You moved on with your life. Next day or same night, Jay and Kelly pull up this clip. I think it's the right. next thing. Yeah. Okay. Uh, they pull it up. Um, Jay makes uh, what I think my understanding is like. Not so erudite super chatted $1.99. $1.99 from not so erudite. Bad faith stream. Is that a photo of not so erudite eating a glizzy? Is that a photo of Dolce Rodite with a glizzy? <laughs> that you told me that he says it's a meme about you being a sex pest. Um, and then they pull up the clip of you pulling up Kelly Dean stuff um, and just like leaving it on screen for a little bit. And they say, she says it's weird. Or does she say like it's gross? Do you remember what she says? Oh, it's weird, weird and or creepy. Yeah. Weird and creepy. Um, okay. Um, and do you continue to make sex pest jokes straight or do you, is the sex pest jokes over? Uh, at this point, I think I say not beating the sex pest allegations. Okay. Um, and then this is when you get into chat. Am I understanding this correctly? Yeah, but somebody else jumps on to start debating them. While they're debating them, that's when I pop up. In you go into chat and you start saying stuff. You say a number of things, among which are some of the very naughty bad things that you agree you definitely should not have said, or you yeah, double sure. down, said that you didn't got. Yeah. yeah, I got all of them. I can show you. I can, yeah, do you mind if I show him the screenshots that I have? And I'll show you. I'm going to show everyone everything that I have because I love transparency. Is that okay? Mm -hmm. um, okay, I'm just going to screenshot him stuff. There yeah, the ones that you read here. off earlier are the same ones that I think Dave sent me. Yeah. Okay, I, sent, I sent Tom all the same stuff I sent you just so that he yeah. has a copy. 
Okay. I'm just being pedantically clear. I didn't send I it to JSTOC because I don't. Everyone, everything. I don't have JSTOC has well. that too. Um, so that's what I've received. Get on there, Tom. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So you say a number <laughs> of things, favorite. among which is Kelly's begging for my dick. Tom Gooning, Sandy Cheek says, and you said you're gooning all the time. You agree with Sandy. Uh, it's not a sexual harassment. Somebody probably in the chat says that you're doing sexual harassment for the begging dick comment, I'm assuming. No, somebody else said, I believe. But on stream remember, yeah, says on you're doing sexual harassment. Yeah. That Do you remember who on stream said you're doing sexual harassment or is it the sex past comments? So again, it's a while ago, so I'm not sure. Yes, I was going to say, I want to say it was Anabar, but I don't want to, yeah. Yeah, 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 I mean, she can make it known or whatever. So that's who you respond to. So uh, it's not sexual harassment, it's public content. And then um, defend myself against what? She's it's public dogs. She exists for objective. Please, get define, uh, Google, define docs. Please, please, I'm begging you. Sunday did not collate personally identifying information for the sake of harassment. Sunday not so erudite email. super chatted $4.99. Four dollars and ninety nine cents from not so erudite. It's not Addy, you freaks. Day of the storm, lightning showers. Thank you for the four ninety nine, Max. Um, <clears throat> not uh, Sunday sent an email to a professor at her, uh, I believe, known, I think, right, university, and asked a question without naming her about the general position she occupied and what would be appropriate in that position for someone in for a hypothetical person in that position and published that email without personally identifying information. It's a, a, a docs is specifically when you put together personally identifying information and then post it somewhere for the purpose of harassment, simply investigating something quietly and, and maybe showing some results without any personal identifying information included. That's not doxing. That's not doxing. <clears throat> I just thought I'm, I, uh, yeah, it's just so delusional to call that shit dog saying. Cation, um, you probably say other stuff in between, and then I will keep Kelly's tits on my screen every time, and then get on there, Tom. Cheering yourself on, I guess. Um, and so, do, just like, do you pull him in at that time? When does he get pulled in amidst all the comments? Is it after basically? If everyone like wants to say, to I think Sunday's creepy, because he emailed people from my university to figure out if I was doing something wrong. She can say that. She can feel that way. That's fine. But this, this uh, calling it doxing, this having to use the worst terms for everything all the time is so AIDS. Because <clears throat> it's not. It doesn't apply. It does not meet the criteria. Uh, it, yeah, it's somewhere in here when he's making all these comments. We pull him on. Yeah, right when I say okay. get on there, Tom, is when I got an invite. Yeah. Gotcha. Um, so you get on there and you guys have a fight. And now this is where I have no receipts at all. So I would love receipts so I can pull up clips. If we're saying that people said things, I know that we won't have all the receipts for everything. Um, but what happens broadly in the conversation, according to you, Tom? You go yeah, on, yeah, and yourself I, the sex past allegations. Yeah, initially I go on, and I think like I, I was like, uh, I, again, I wanted to talk to JC. Okay, like I want it, it was him and who I guess it was Anna who was saying that it was sexual harassment. Those are the people that I wanted to get into it with. Um, but yeah, I end up getting into it with her. And at first, like I'm trying to like say like, okay, from my perspective, you understand it. Like when I say this, like I'm thinking that your entire brand is like uh, being an Instagram model. So like, just I I didn't because she's saying that that's not her brand or that's not her whole thing. And so um, I'm just trying to like get her to like understand my my frame of mind and like saying like yes, pulling this up to me didn't seem like a like a horrible thing at the time. Okay. So, you know, Radical Code, first of all, you know it's not identifying information. You know that's not true. So where is the private information? And what is the intent? Her, her, wait, her full name was public, was it not? Her full name has always been public, has it not? Like, readily. She's, like, spoken about the um that video course series the, the video series that she was doing for that organization which had her full name on it she'd been on interviews and podcasts to talk about psycho psychological stuff before she ever went on destiny stream with her full name on these podcasts <clears throat> no it didn't get leaked no you're wrong you're wrong you're just straight up you're incorrect it did not get leaked her name was readily available on podcasts she had appeared on prior to Destiny. Prior to her being on Destiny stream. I remember she was on a podcast to promote that mental health video series she was commissioned to do whatever or she did as part of a job. Her, uh, she was, uh, her name had been out there. It was like totally out there. Like sure, she didn't come on Destiny stream and say, here's my full legal name every time she went on Destiny stream. So if that's your definition of doxing, then yeah, sure. But no, that there was no private. What do you mean? What kind of retard logic is this? You said it was leaked. It was not leaked. 
That was not leak. That's not a leak. Where is the leak there? No, you, you you published it. You gave it to this couple. You were on this show. You presented yourself as your legal name. Uh, hundreds of people have called. No, <laughs> that's not what's being said at all. You're on a podcast on YouTube promoting your mental health video series that you speak about both on that podcast and on Destiny Stream. It was on the website for the program with the government, which was linked in her Discord server, Boots is saying too. This was all available. This was not leaked. This was not found out by some subversive way. It was not like it, it was on white pages. Like they had to go and fucking look through phone book listings, trying to sort of cross-reference bits of information and use process of elimination to figure out which one she was. It was not that. That was not what happened. Her, she was readily available. Her name was readily available. She made no attempt to conceal it and advertised it on numerous places that were directly linked to the work and brand that she was building. That's not just people have called you your name, so it's fine if you say it. No, it's it's. She was readily open with it. You are correct. It was not leaked. She was careless. She was not careless. It was it was readily presented. She's not trying to conceal her name now, is she? How the fuck would she even possibly imagine being able to do that? She's not trying to conceal her name now. No shot. And she doesn't ask she doesn't ask people to stop calling her Kyla. Her name like that's it. She's she's public. You can't go, oh, I want more privacy now and don't talk about my name when she's like been been fully public with it. Because it's better. See the goat. Who cares about his retarded? You're gonna get banned. You're gonna get banned very quickly because you're very retarded. Because people are saying Sunday doxed her. Sunday did not dox her. Where was the private information revealed? Where was the identifying information revealed? Neither of those happened. There was no malicious intent. It was to fact check a claim about credentials. There is. You do not. You, you meet. Or I don't think you meet any of the criteria. You don't fully meet a single criteria for definition for doxing. Okay, you're taking... Okay, he didn't dox her. You are taking 30 minutes. You're not the one making the claim. I'm arguing with other people. You might not be the one making the claim. There are other people who are making the claim. There is just no way you can argue that's doxing. But... I'm like, um, that's fine. yeah, pretty quickly we get heated and it was two guys arguing about this where I feel like, yeah, she's not responding to the things that I'm saying, so I get louder and start yelling more and get more and more heated. Yeah. Okay. So, to my recollection, um, the conversation very much switched from being about pulling up the Instagram, which didn't seem like that big a deal anymore, to being about the chat messages that you have on screen or the ones you've looked at. Specifically, like the I will keep Kelly's tits on my screen every stream was pretty, yeah, that obviously. And she kept, I think she kept trying to recenter on like, I'm not making any like actual claims about your behavior. I'm creeped out. I feel creeped out. I feel weirded out. Please stop doing this to me. And then I feel like Tom was trying to get his normative point out. And Kelly was just trying to recenter on like, I don't, like, I don't care about the philosophy. I just feel creeped out. Please don't do this with my pictures anymore. There was a dedicated site and socials for mental help featuring her name. She did a variety of interviews and referenced the org, and in some instances used her name and not Swearadite in combination. Some of this stuff is still live, by the way. So, no. I don't know if we're for me, I agreed with a lot of Sunday's criticisms of her. I just didn't think the full name was necessary. I don't care if it's because the docs aren't for me, it's in the ballpark. But it's not. But it's like if, if you put. If you present yourself as Kyla. I understand. Okay. But I'm saying it's not doxing, right? It's retarded to say it's anywhere near the ballpark of doxing. Because if she's saying, it's like it's the same with Elder Drazi. If you make a TikTok account and a YouTube account and a donation page account, and on all of them you've put Radical Coda, and then I don't know what your fucking name is, but, but Radical Coda, gay retard. First name gay, surname retard. <laughs> if you put get Radical Coda, aka gay retard, on every single profile you've got, and I say, yo, Radical Coda's name is, is his legal name, his actual legal name is gay retard. Then you can't turn around and say, that's in the ballpark of doxing. No, you present yourself as Radical Coda, aka gay retard. That's how you present yourself to me. So how can I, how can you say that's doxing? Okay, gotcha. Um, and do you, did you receive that at the time or did you fight her like a debate role for the most part? I, whatever we talked about, I was definitely arguing with her on it. I, I, yeah, I don't remember exactly how the argument went. So that's, gotcha. that's possible, yeah. Um, Jay, do you remember? Did he like double down when she said I'm uncomfortable? Did he say like fuck I'm you? I'm pretty like, sure in this case he doubled down, but I like I we'd have to go back and watch. I'm pretty sure he doubled down. I would assume yes. of it. that yes, that I, I was that my point was to argue that like yeah, there's I, I don't I don't know why if you are saying you're uncomfortable, why this means that like I did something wrong by pulling this up. And yeah, that was that I was definitely okay. arguing with it. Yeah. 
Right. Um, I'm guessing Kelly Jean probably said like some mixture of like, I don't care, I but I do think it's a little now. bit weird, but I'm like not morally imputing your behavior. Like, I don't care. I'm just saying like, it's kind of weird and creepy. That's probably her position about the Instagram, right? What was her position about the comments? I, I literally don't remember talking about the comments, so you'll have to ask them. Okay. Um, okay, Fargo Lefty, the point is that she is not attempting to maintain privacy around her name because many things, appa apparently there is still, there is still a content that is live that uses both her name, her real name, and her username in conjunction. So that she's not attempting to maintain privacy, otherwise she would have had that content taken down or, or renamed or edited in some way. So she's not attempting to maintain privacy. The comments for a while, or I do remember. I think I memed a little bit, and that I just kept reading off different comments while he was arguing, asking him to like explain. Say her full name. I don't. I don't. I literally don't even remember her surname. I think it begins with a T or something. I think. Someone link me it. Someone link me this content. Someone link me the uh, the, 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 the mental health stream. adverts right. the podcast. Particularly bad one, given that she was just saying, "Hey, it's creepy. Please don't do that." Or I find it creepy. Please don't do that. I think Tom's quote was something like, "Could you give me a normative reason why I can't pull your tits up on screen?" Which was <laughs> all right. Sorry, I'm also sick, so I'm going to be pretty me muted too. here most of the time. That's okay. No worries. Um, okay, so do you think that he's a sex pest, or do you think that even his comments prove that he's a sex pest, or is that mostly a meme to you still? I don't know where. You... Yeah. So I mean, yeah, this has got. I, I just don't know how you can have content like this it's live with your username link. Max the Confess Zero R super chatted four dollars and ninety nine cents. It's directly relevant to your content. $4.99 from Max the Confess Zero R. Trans logic for doxxing. I say it's doxxing, so it is. So here's the thing you've got to consider, right? Is that not only has it's got her, both her username and her real name in conjunction, but then you've also got the fact that this is a project that she has spoken about at length on streams that anyone could go and look into that is directly relevant to the work she does as a streamer too there's like there is no <laughs> i i don't, that it takes such a leap such a such mental gymnastics to say oh well actually no we we have to um be really respectful of this we have to not never bring this up never bring this up never talk about this no matter how much she talks about it, you can't talk about it. That's retarded. But whatever, we're moving on now. We're done with it. You follow the sex pest allegations. Yeah, it was a, a meme pretty much the entire time. Like, I think at one point, I could find this clip from maybe two months ago. Uh, Tom talked some shit about me on his stream, and I, I watched the clip. Someone sent me the clip, and I said, that's it. Sex pest allegations are back on. Like, okay. I don't know. I thought it was pretty clear the whole time. I made sure there were... <clears throat> I made sure there were logs of me saying, like, I don't think he's a danger to women. It's mostly memes. I don't want to be responsible for this guy's reputation being harmed. Said all of this. Um, I'd have to go talk to somebody who had old spicy chat logged. And then also pulled up, okay. like, lab can on Can I just, yeah, I was going to say, can we just... I did do the lab thing. Yeah. Okay, just to be clear, because I know how you little content brain drama frogs work, okay? I know the masters of the game. I've watched you. I've studied you. So I understand that you guys will give lots of plausible deniability for not saying things. But the issue that... And this is how drama content works in part, is that you like lean into lots of heavy implications enough that it usually pisses somebody off and then they come on and feel the need to defend themselves. So I'm just trying to understand when you're saying, I think it's mostly a meme. Is it like you said it a couple times, it's literally a meme and everyone understands that? Or is it more like the drama thing where like- He wants spicy chat logs and banned Rita, ha 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 ha, Rita won. Yeah, I was sitting there thinking, I was like, oh, why would Rita help you now? <laughs> <laughs> you bring it up because you like think it pisses oh, them off, um, which like means like- Oh, know, I started doing it to piss them off, absolutely. Yeah, I started doing it to yeah, piss them off, Yeah, but literally there are logs of him defending this in spicy chat. There's two different debates of him coming on and us arguing with this, what he's trying to justify. Uh, yeah, let me find them. Because to be clear, I would come under the impression that you would think that he's a sex pest. Um, even oh, I definitely like, do now. I definitely. Okay, you do now. That's what she yeah. just asked you. And you swear that you didn't before? Yeah, I swear that I didn't before. Um, it had a lot to do. I didn't realize that. So this wasn't even the first time they had Kelly's Instagram up on screen, specifically to like goon over it, right? It wasn't even the first I... time they could have Kelly up specifically. Yeah. And then they mm -hmm. brought up I other people. Coomer time. People, they have Coomer time, right? Yeah, including people who don't have any like sexually explicit content whatsoever. So you couldn't even really make the argument that that's their content. So much so um, that these people yeah. have been sort of, they felt reticent to even go on like Wix panels. This was a whole Wix debate we had. Right, yeah, and we're not gonna, my understanding of that is not, that is not wanting to be talked about, so I'm gonna do my best for that individual sake to not like oh, sure. talk about that situation, but I'm aware of what you're talking about, just to be clear, I'm just not saying names and stuff for you know, their sake. Um, okay, so, okay, I just, okay, so I guess, Tom, you were about to dig something up, and you're about to say something in response. It's gonna take me a minute to find these, but, um, okay. but yeah, like, surely, surely he finds it, surely. It. It's, I, I was sent screenshots a while ago, so I, I have to go find the screenshots, it's gonna be deep in DMs from like three months ago. Hi, sir. Hey, how's it going? Yeah, I, I am. Uh, I'm loosely aware, Brandon, that there is uh, an ongoing beef between Not So Erudite and Jstalk that may be running 
under the surface or boiling under the surface of this drama. I'm a, uh, I am loosely aware of that. Do you guys remember when Philip DeFranco had a sexy lady of the day day segment? <laughs> do you guys, just end this up. Do you guys remember that? Yo, what the fuck? I, I literally bring this up every time I talk about Tom. Every time I talk about Tom, I say this. I say, Philip DeFranco used to do this shit, and he stopped doing this for a reason. <laughs> she's a hate watcher. She is reptilian. I think she's just like, uh, I don't think, I think it's like, she's like the gustapoy when you think about it, really. She's like, just trying to sniff me out and like, kill me. She's just trying to find that information about me so she can kill me. She wants to be dead. I think that's what's going on. She's like a Nazi that wants me dead. No. Oh, really? So DeFranco. Oh, okay. So I'm that quip is early on in your featured vid. Oh, true. It is, isn't it? It is true. So true. If she clicked on my channel at some point, it may have been that she did actually like, hear that. That is true. That is true. I'm a normie, so I did watch Philip DeFranco, but he used to do this segment where, like, for, I think for maybe for years, or maybe it's just like the videos I've seen, where he'd like say like "sexy lady of the day," and he would just like pull up girls like Instagram or like whatever was available at the time, basically more or less for him in his chat to like goon over. Um, just because I'm trying to understand, Jay, maybe your perspective. Would you feel like similar about that? Of like, it's like can't like you don't like that. You think it's gross. I understand that you're the. There's one caveat of like, well, what about the girls that? That's not their content, um, but yeah. Um, or maybe not to goon over, but like at least to like. Yeah, I don't want because gooning, I think, is a specific word. Yeah, sorry, I won't even, say goon over to like look at and be like, she's hot. Yeah, just say like um, she's they, pretty, they did she's this cute. To goon over hundred percent. You just look at any of the chats, any of the chats coming in whenever they did in this the ones to that he's talking about. Literally, the only things that I think I say is, "Yeah, she's cute." While. The, Wait, like the, that yeah, because gooning, gooning is where you're like losing your brain, trying not to come. You're like edged super hard, and you're like ah, like it's like the anime well, where you're like how long, drooling. How long would you have to not that, right? speak for for that to be I, the case? Do you think? Uh, I don't know if s this not speaking to me. Yeah, suggests the, most of the time like I'm doing other things edging. off screen while like, something's on stream. Like I'll pull up a picture and then move on, and I'm typing off stream or I'm like doing other shit. I'm looking this up. Urban I'm, Dictionary I'm gonna... gooning. <laughs> I'm gonna disagree slightly. I'm pretty sure usually when it when a one of the pictures are pulled up is just uh, an intentional look at the oh, screen. Oh no, I remember gooning, correctly. I think gooning is when okay, urban dictionary. Oh no, we're not. Oh, we're at this point. Oh brother. Oh brother. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. It's, uh, it's where you edge for a long time so that when you orgasm, well, yeah. it's like uber good. Mm -hmm. That's gooning. It's like you, you edge yourself. You look up gooning, so not cooming. Orgasm. Sure. We're using it as a. Wait, you I think we're going for cooming. We're not gooning, right? Wait, you guys have explicitly said gooning multiple times. So if we don't mean gooning, okay, I, mean I, didn't, I thought it was cooming. My bad. Sorry. Okay, okay. I, uh, Do you we're mean just gooming? Saying we could easily just use letching, ogling. It's a bunch of different words you could what, use here, right? Uh, what? <laughs> this distinction does not matter. This distinction does not matter. This is irrelevant. This is so irrelevant. I mean, coomers, right? They're like ogling yeah, for sure. I'm like sure. thinking women are attractive and being like, oh, yeah, she's so hot. But they're not like edging no, no, themselves. No, no, no. Because like, anything that's doing yeah, that, so that's a whole other thing. Like if Tom was like, you know, um, just below his camera, he's like, you know, he's like rubbing himself off and he's like getting so close. And then he finally starts talking because he's like orgasm. That, would oh, be that is totally wild. what people in his chat do. 100%. Like that is the express um, purpose of it. Well, just still, I, I didn't disagree. you? When I had the argument with you, I thought it was, um, I came in and I said, like, oh, great meme, just ilk. And you said, no, it was a meme. Uh, but I don't think it's a meme anymore based on Tom's comments in chat. Wait. Say that again. I, I when you that, and I sorry. argued about this, sure. When when you and I argued about this, was it not the case that I joined? I said just still great meme, and uh, you know I'm paraphrasing here, and basically you were saying that no, it was a meme, but I'm not memeing now. I I seriously think that Tom is a sex pest because of what he said in the chat. Sure, that is unironically sex pest comments. Didn't you just say that you did not think he, he did? Was one? He, he changed it right after. He, he, oh, he said sure. he didn't originally just, think it, but after I this didn't did. originally think this when I was doing it with the spicy chat stuff. When we okay. were talking about it in spicy chat, that's when I didn't okay. think it. Um, I genuinely, I am dubious that they are gooning in his chat. I do believe that they are being coomers, and maybe like if you uh, just to be clear, okay, please show are, me chat. Are, all I have Why are you fucking getting? Uh, she's been so autistic about this. Literally, there is no meaningful distinction. Like if you're talking about specifically the action that's happening, but nobody seriously thinks because cooming. Is a like weird, uh, not abbreviation, but abstraction of coming, and they're not coming, and they're not, they're definitely not literally gooning either. So it's just being used as a stand in for being like weird, sexual, 
like you know uh sexually interested in what's going on on screen that's what's being referred to i don't understand why they're getting so autistic over like meme language just like internet slang basically I have that glitch in time. But I, these okay. are complete synonyms. Most, I can go find some. Most people don't use these as synonyms, right? When somebody says like sex pest or gooning, go, there's a very specific. Cooming? Gooning or cooming, I would say, are complete synonyms on the internet. Well, even sex uh, pest is. I've used gooning, cooming a lot. I don't think I've ever said co gooning. Yeah, even ever. sex pest. My understanding is like a kinky. I would say to pretty much anybody who's on the internet often, these are the same thing. Gooning is kind of the word of the month. I, I don't know. Yes, yes, yes. Whitey, you're so correct. Yes. She's doing it because destiny is called a kuma, so she needs to define it as not being a bad thing. Yes, exactly. Yes, that is what's going on, isn't it? She's got this set of positions that she's argued before that she's had to run through where she's saying, oh, well, cooming's not always a bad thing. Cooming's not always a bad thing. Sometimes cooming's are fine. Sometimes cooming's fine. Sometimes cooming's fine. Destiny's a coomer. He's fine. He he establishes boundaries. He makes sure that women know that, that he, he's going to be having sex with them five business days in advance, whether they like it or not. That's That's what the mindset is. It's all just playing into this broader... Defense that has to be constantly ran. It oh man, fucking kill me. Yeah, everybody's using it for everything. Real quick, not even even hold on, hold on, stop, 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 stop. You, you just, just pull your chat if you want. Yeah, I don't. Well, the problem is my chat's gonna agree with me, and your chat's gonna agree with you. No, I might pull your chat and see what they think, because I, I think your chat would actually agree with me. Uh, you oh, want to pull? Maybe not. But in any case, um, yeah. I'll just give. We should just go find examples of the comments. So yeah, yeah. stuff like that. on screen. Same. Pull up her best. Pull up her. Yeah, let me see the comments. Sure, sure. Um, they, just like, be clear. Let's stream, make sure we're clear. They're talking about having yellow fever. It's like, I want to put a baby in her. It's a lot of very, very weird objectifying comments that kind of probably aren't good anywhere, but, you know, Pornhub, uh, Pornhub comment section comments. Yeah, but yeah, so they're what? like lusting. Because Coomer, my understanding of Coomer is like, that's a, because people call Steven a Coomer because he's a little lusty oh boy. Oh my God. Slut, oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> well, well, well Des Destiny's a Coomer. Destiny's a Coomer. And Destiny can't possibly do anything bad. I want to just like this is the behavior that make that turns me into an anti fan. This is the behavior. It's just so wretched. It's so it makes me fucking ill. It makes my skin crawl. Watch it. I I'm pretty sure I just saw her blink horizontally, like one at a time too. It's uncanny. Occupies the space between human and inhuman. Never heard anyone call him a gooner. Because Gooner is a lot more like negative because it's like you're a little bit more of like a kingster who's like trying I, to edge yourself for as long as possible for like a mind right. blowing orgasm. And um, everywhere. Sure, we disagree on the meaning of the term. We'll just use humor. I'm good with right. that. But the, this is the problem there right. is that you guys now keep like, making things way. like more hyperbolic and you use language that you know. So like sex pest. This is the idea that I am pestering women to get in their pants or to get nudes from them or to get like uh, sex from them. And you know that that's what it means. Yet you keep using it in the Kelly is begging like, for my dick all the time. These are yes. the comments that I it, said. Does that okay, sound like it's now trying to get sex from her? No, no. I'm saying so, this so is exactly. when stop being a meme and started being real. Right. Is when you, you made these comments. Hold on. Engage with what I just said. Sex pesting sure. is when somebody is pestering somebody for sex. Yeah. And the first time we argued about it on stream, I literally said we can use a different definition. I'm fine with that. Uh, okay. That's, you use a different word for this. I'm fine with that. And you freak the fuck out. Yes, because it's like if I say that you're a rapist, and then later I'm like, oh, I just mean that you shake women's hands for too long without consent. Like these are totally insanely yeah. different. And so my response to that argument rape. was, we can just use a different name. Yes, but you're still saying behaviors. sex hey, You're so still saying I, sex I think that, That's the problem. So. This would be my plan, as a, you know, I guess the arbiter of this. Not that I'm actually doing that. The issue that I would have with... Uh, as the arbiter of this. Not, not that I'm actually doing that. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Stop pretending you're not. Stop pretending you're not. You're trying to position yourself as the person who's going to have a final say on this to DGG. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. That is absolutely what you're doing. That is what is going on here. You named your stream The Trial of Tom. You named your stream The Trial of Tom. You are posi you're positioning yourself as the judge. <laughs> Come on. Um, being like, okay, then not goom, just coom is if Tom has been portrayed this entire time from people as like, a, what my understanding is like a pejorative to a large degree, like a, go like a gooner. My understanding when you call people gooners, like it's not really like a good thing. Like it's not the same as a cuck, but it's like you're kind of God, gross. Jared, is not here to That's my understanding. Yeah, and you that know, is like, what you're a good little gooner. He is gross and sexually degenerate. That is 100%. Right, so the issue is that when you were saying it like before as well. Oh, and you're again, coomer to me means gross and sexually degenerate. Same. I would read Coomer as well. So we, we might just have like different no. ideas for I mean, these words. Wait, but yeah, so to me, I'd also be a I would just say they're gross and sexually degenerate. We so can just say gross said... and sexually degenerate. I'm fine with using that, those words too. It, it, so the it, issue, wait, hold on, hold on. The issue... Yeah, bo both of them in sort of common parlance online, a gooner or a kuma is is used for someone who is gross and sexually degenerate. Yes, I 100 that is absolutely 
totally a reason that we're having here is what often happens particularly as somebody who's very familiar with drama frogs is you'll intentionally often use hyperbolic language to paint somebody more awfully than they actually are knowing that it's a pejorative and knowing how it sounds maybe not fully knowing but like at least leaning into being semi bad faith to drum up content and now the person isn't just defending themselves from being lusty on their stream but they're in defending themselves from being like a pejorative of like a little dirty sex pest like a little dirty sex like whatever you would call it, gooner, no. well, which, which is the problem, right? And so when we act like, oh yeah, I mean, they're, they're just the same thing. It's like, nobody has felt like they're the same thing. Nobody has interpreted it as the same thing. And my understanding of how people are reacting to Dom is that it's not being treated as though sure. it's the same thing. Do you thing. think so, gooner means degenerate sex, uh, sexual deviant, like degenerate sexual deviant? Degenerate I think it's often deviant. used as a pejorative. Yeah, I think usually okay, when you're talking like a good little Not so erudite super chatted $4.99. $4.99 from not so erudite, you are, corn, literate. You drama digins have no idea about the gooning cultural milieu. Nuance and charity is good. Unhinged and obsessed. Thank you, not so erudite, once again for the $5. <laughs> You mean it in a pejorative sense then. Okay. Like, oh yeah, I mean, they're, they're just the same thing. It's like, nobody has felt like they're the same thing. Nobody has interpreted it as the same thing. And my understanding of how people... You, yeah, you're either highly autistic or guilty of sin if the use of these words triggers an urge to pull up definitions. Reacting to Dom is that it's not being treated as though sure. it's the same thing. Do you thing. think gooner means degenerate sex, uh, sexual deviant? Like degenerate sexual deviant? Degenerate I think it's often deviant. used as a pejorative. Yeah, I think usually when hey, you call that, something like a good I little I do gooner, mean it in a pejorative language. sense then. So we can call that a solution. Gooner. I'm just like... Can I'm, we come up with a word that means sexually degenerate? Bad person. But the, the problem believe is that's what, isn't what we're trying that, to do right that's now. Not the, the problem point. is that historically, the thing is that it, it, Kuma also means sexually degenerate, gross person. I don't know why Erudite is fighting this characterization. Because what what is the Kuma? What do people know as the Kuma? It's this. This is the image that people have in their head. Oh, what's that? <laughs> it's this. Someone clip that, what the fuck? <laughs> the fact this woman is making excuses for this man to sexually harass other women in the community is absolutely reprehensible of her own bless. Oh, well, <laughs> fuck. I wouldn't go that far. <clears throat> but it is funny to say. We go back to that image. Guys, isn't this so cute? This is what Addy thinks is happening right now. We've been using a much more hyperbolic word that doesn't actually fit what's actually happening so that oh, we can... I should also make that's, it very clear that when I first called him a sex pest, and probably the second, third, and fourth times I called him a sex pest, I didn't stream, I had no plans to stream, I had like basically never streamed, I'd never done any of this, right? So it wasn't to okay, farm yeah, content in any way, yeah. it was just me talking shit in spicy chat with other people. Before right? I'd ever even heard of you, but then once we argued yeah. about this, you said it on, uh, or Kelly asked you about it on Destiny stream, then we argued about it that time, then you came on a couple days later or a week later, we argued about it again, both times, yes, you are justifying yeah, the, well, the label. Every single time test. I said, I think these behaviors are weird and I don't really care about the label I put on it, but these are the behaviors I'm criticizing. Right, but you sure. continue to sex use the word sex Sure, has such a higher implication, right? Like it's so uh, much We went over the it. definitions on stream Stardust and like the top two definitions were pretty much precisely this. No, they were not. Being an they were not. You look, we went over the, the actual dictionary definition and then you insisted on using the urban dictionary definition. Well, and I'm operating that, in an urban dictionary world, okay? We are live streaming. Wait, wait, even that did not necessarily agree with you. It did agree with me, but it it's fine. Not. Okay. Um, okay, so the problem is that when you call somebody a sex pest previously as a meme, but then mm -hmm. when something happens, you're also saying that it's weird. I am having a hard time buying that you're not to some degree painting him as like a pejorative, as, neg as negative, as nasty, and as gross, and that you sounds like you have been for a while. Is That would be how I would read the situation. Yeah, that would be accurate. So you are saying that when you were calling him sex pest. But sorry, does pejorative, does pejorative or does this mean it's inaccurate? Because I would say it's all complete. No, no, no. We can talk about, we can okay, talk about okay, the accuracy. Perfect. I just want to make sure that we're owning, we're owning what we're saying. We're all so when I first started that. doing it, it was a little playful in that this guy was kind of a goofy live streamer who had a bunch of these women on who had fights with Destiny. So I was calling him a sex pest because it was a whole meme we had where he literally wanted to fuck every woman Destiny's ever fucked. And he leans into this meme. He's aware of it. So that was, that was like the joke I was leaning into. Leaning into it as a meme where it's obvious that it's a joke versus. Oh man. Okay. So this is going to be a big point, I think. I heard something of this. Does this mean it's inaccurate? Because I would say it's all completely. No, no, no. We can talk about we can talk okay, about okay. the accuracy. Perfect. I just want to make sure that we're owning we're owning what we're saying. We're so when I first started doing it, it was a little playful in that this guy was kind of a goofy live streamer who had a bunch of these women on who had fights with Destiny. So I was calling him a sex best because it was a whole. Uh, Naga, no, I'm trying to lean away from the comments on physical appearance for this one. Okay. Full meme we had where he literally wanted to fuck every woman Destiny's ever fucked, and he leans into this meme. He's aware of it, so. That was that was like the joke I was leaning into. Leaning into it as a meme where it's obvious that it's a joke versus like actually making accusations, defending them, debating that I'm and this thing. These are massively different things. This is not e even close to equivalent. Okay, and for a very long time until these comments towards Kelly came out, I was leaning into it as a meme. Like I was never not leaning into it as a meme. So you, you uh, so you were joking? Over. Yeah. So uh, this gets brought up, right? Is where did the every woman that Destiny's ever fucked? Where where'd that come from? It's from the fucking rape list meme. It's from the meme. The, the, 
there was like a meme where it's a guy, it's like a Wojak guy standing there. He's handing a piece of paper to the to like the person, I guess, it in the perspective of the camera. It's like a drawing. <clears throat> and it says, Rape list, you. And then Ryzak edited it so that it had the features of Tom, because he was bald initially, anyway. But he put the features of Tom on it. And then scrubbed out you and wrote, Any woman that Destiny's ever fucked. That's the joke. So when Tom puts at the bottom of a list, any woman that Destiny's ever fucked, it's referencing that. That's the reference. That is the joke. The joke is that it's a rape list, which is funny. That's funny. But if I were to do that, I would expect every woman on that list to never want to talk to me again. And you've kind of just got to accept that they might spaz out over it. And you've got to own, own what the meme was. <laughs> So were you joking or were you serious in the past? I, I've already said it was it was just a meme around these behaviors and that sex pest was so the we used. Joking. So you were joking. I was criticizing behaviors, but I knew I was doing it hyperbolically in the way you described. Okay, to, so to then, needle him intentionally. So you were joking but not you, you were joking but not joking at the same time. So it's I'm trying to be very precise in the exact way you described, being hyperbolic in a way that needled him, hundred percent trying to do that. Okay, so then it seems like most people thought that you weren't joking. You were memeing about it. You were memeing about him being a sex pest, but you weren't joking about believing he was a sex pest. That's been my read of most people's realness of what people are sending me and stuff like that. And I'm trying to read in other people's chats as well. And so it's like, I get that you were leaning into being hyperbolic, but that's, you were serious about calling him a sex pest. You were just also memeing on top of I mean, it. You did no, think there was no. weird creepy behavior. Find, you you can find a whole bunch of, no, no, no. You can actually find a whole bunch of jokes on my stream where I laugh that I memed about Tom being a sex pest, and now I'm doing the exact kind of content that I was memeing on him for. You did later on. After right, like but a, I, but a I say that if I was really serious about him being a danger to women. Okay. Um, but danger to women is now added on top of this. Okay. Um, like so if, I, if, I was, stuff, if I was being right? very serious about him being a terrible person who needed to be canceled, or if there was any major implications to being a sex pest, would I say, oh, now I'm doing the exact behaviors that I was criticizing him for? Uh, I don't know the context for that situation. It's super hard for me to weigh on that. I have no idea what this little Wait, thing is. So, so, so you do the same kind of saying, stuff I'm saying my, No, 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 no. I'm saying my criticism, the original reason I called him a sex pest, is because he wanted to fuck any woman Destiny's ever fucked. And then I started to... Yeah, I, I hate this. Uh... <laughs> it's like impossible in these fucking like super autistic inset debates to, to get this point out because no one will ever listen to it. Everything has to be one way or the other. But the fact is that you will make jokes, oftentimes, that a good joke will play on an element of truth. So there can be a behavior the you take issue with. The new logo is Magnificent Queen Min, Heart, Black Heart. Oh yeah, about truth. Yeah, you, you'll say like... That there's something you take an issue with. There's some negative behavior. And then you trump it up, you make a hyperbolic statement about it in the chat. As part of a joke. Yeah, that makes sense. That's, that's like a normal thing that people do. But you can't get that out in a debate. Because now every single statement you've made in any Discord ever is now under a microscope and it's like okay well now i've got either bat i've either got to say that's a joke and there's no truth to it or that's serious and i'm going to defend it to the death but it's like no but jstalk's trying to get the he, this is the way he approaches it is saying okay i don't care about the term let's talk about the behavior but then obviously it's more beneficial for tom to get super anal about the the specific term because then he can avoid actually addressing the behavior the stream and then all you thought that was like degenerate right on my stream uh, not really. I just thought it was funny. It was like a funny meme. So I made fun of him for it, and then he got upset, and it was really funny to make fun of him for it. He's saying and then it became funny because I started doing the same thing. It became very funny for me to meme that. Oh, I criticized Tom for being a sex pest. Guess who the sex pest is now? Okay, so you're but telling I, me, if yeah, I'm understanding, you, I'm just trying to make sure I'm understanding you. Sure. That you were in the past, you were joking. It was just a meme, but also that you were kind of serious. You were just leaning into it. It was being hyperbolic, but also that it was fully a joke, and you were never meaning it. It just ended up that now you're being like validated now that he's a sex pest. Like this is my concern. Sure. I'm confused. Okay, so the problem is that I've just stated three different things that are exclusive of each other. So which of these three things is it? Uh, I would probably just say it's a meme, and I was being. I knew the sex pest thing bothered him because he thought that meant like rapist essentially. So I would do it to needle him intentionally. And you didn't think he was degenerate or gross in any way. You just thought it was funny. Yeah, I didn't. I actually didn't think he was degenerate or gross at that point. I just thought you just thought he was trying to have sex with all of Destiny's friends. It was just like silly and funny. Yeah, basically, like not actually have, try to have sex with them because obviously it's the internet. But that th um, that was literally the meme. Was he basically anybody who had ever had sex with Destiny? This guy was gonna move heaven and earth to have him on a stream. Hey, that's not even true. Like most of the people that we went over, these are people that were reaching out to. Tom me looks like to every people. warning. Have you seen this man poster? Or Destiny, and you were still making those accusations just the same. This was very high school freshman have to meet with the guidance counselor after a bullying incident. Oh my god. Okay. So, Probably okay. further solidifying it was a meme, but you might have some okay. different interpretation. <laughs> it yeah. seems like you meant it the whole time. I just thought he was no, doing something I, bad I, the whole time. No, no, no. You were just doing it the same way and not taking it seriously. Quickly, why even though he myself? was, you thought why he was I, doing something wrong, on, but it just wasn't that big of a deal. Why would I say I'm doing what he did? Because you are able to say that you're doing something a little bit bad, but then later be like, well, I'm not actually doing something that bad. The whole time. It's not even bad. 
then I just why? don't understand if it was a serious allegation where I thought he was a de degenerate freak for these behaviors. Why would I laugh about doing the same behaviors myself? Okay, so you were hyperbolizing a legitimate criticism, and you can also have the lesser non-serious criticism of yourself, right? So you can think no, that Tom's being behavior. a little bit DJ. It's the exact same behaviors, and I laughed you at didn't myself. Say and I degenerate said, freak. I'm a you way said... better sex pest than Tom. Okay. Okay. Okay, it took like a month of like engaging in this very seriously before you start saying like, oh, it's a meme, it's a joke, and this is as you're, you're bringing on more women. This is like you're possibly using, the most retarded part of this entire argument. I think we've probably rehashed the... Wait, is it a joke with an element of meme? Is, is it is a... Sorry, a joke with an element of truth? Is it... Is it just a meme? Is it, you know, at what point did Jace took decide that he really believed this? At what point was it just joking? Yeah, I felt this has been gone over so many times. It's fucking retarded. It's like, it's only important for uh, admonishing Jace Stalk for making claims without evidence. It's not actually uh, important to the the broader the broader narrative, I don't think. Unless someone can correct me on that, but I, I just don't think it's, it's particularly relevant. I mean, I guess if... I'm not sorry, I'm trying to ob arbitrate a disagreement between these two, then maybe it's relevant. But for, for our purposes, not particularly. Against me, now they're coming on your stream, so now it has to be a joke, because otherwise you're you're also a sex pest, so you had to... They I all literally, to I can, listen, I can try to find logs from Spicy of me literally saying, hey, just so everybody is clear, Tom's not actually like a sexual threat to any women. He's very the much issue like, is, fine. I, I literally I have said, these logs around I never here, said, and I Tom got them. I never said sexual degenerate freak. You said you were doing something a little bad, which is something that Tom is also doing. It means that you obviously thought that Tom is doing something a little bad, and it would be totally reasonable for you to make the joke no, that you're sorry, also doing joke, something a little the bad. The joke is that it's not really bad. It's like something I was criticizing for, and I probably didn't have a valid criticism back then, and that's what's so funny. But again, that's all in the old, like, oh, he wants to hang out with all the women Destiny hung out with. That's on Tom Foolery Show Super Chatted like, $4.99. $4.99 from Tom Foolery Show, NSEV Kelly Jean, oiled up. No clothes. Who winning a twerk off? That's uh, not. Thank you for the four ninety nine. Though. Thank you. YouTube chat. Those are different, and those are actual sex pests, weird, degenerate yeah, yeah. Freak <laughs> behaviors. Right. I'm just trying okay, to figure perfect. out the past stuff because my concern <sighs> in this is that I'll go back and say this: that I've heard now three things from you. I'll say this again. Number one, you said when I was calling him a sex pest, it was only a joke. Number two, you said, I mean, it was a little bit serious, and I thought he was doing something like a little weird, but like it wasn't like that big of a deal, which is why like I even I would make that joke about myself. But it was mostly a joke. But he was doing something like a little bit weird, or it's also possible that yes, I thought he was kind of weird, and I was hyperbolizing it to make a joke into like. Is this? Okay, so I'm playing. Needle yeah. into him. You've given me all three of these again, and you have to stick to one. I don't want to quibble anymore. Just pick one. I don't care which it is. Oh, they like literally everything I've said is like very consistent to me. He got, okay, he got upset over it. I thought the things. behaviors were weird coming from him, and then I started realizing, oh, Ugh, all these people are I don't even care. Just to be clear, okay. this isn't even a big deal. This isn't a big deal. I'm not trying to nail you on anything. Where is she? Like, I don't. Where, where is she? Where is he losing her? I don't get it. Thing. I'm just trying to are set sure? it all straight. Yes, I'm trying to understand. And the problem that I get into is that it seems like you're quibbling over nothing when you're saying it was just a joke, but it kind of wasn't a joke, but it was a joke. I'm trying to set it straight. So if you're saying it wholly was a joke the entire time, I absolutely promise. I didn't think he was doing anything wrong Sorry. the whole time. That's fair. Right, Again, we'll just I'll slow this slow this down a bit. I maybe I can figure out what the fuck she's trying to say. I'll just state my position. There were some behaviors there I thought were worthy of criticism. I criticized them in a hyperbolic way to needle him. What is inconsistent in that statement? That makes total that sense. That, that makes total sense. <laughs> thank you for the ten dollars, Courtney. Thank you, thank you. Jesus, mad dono tonight. Thank you guys. Thank you, thank you. Please remember to like the stream as well if you guys haven't already. If you're uh, if you're one of the freeloaders, one of the potentially two hundred and fifty freeloaders right now. Also saying it's just a joke. Well, I'm saying it's not serious enough in any way that I wouldn't put those same behaviors on myself oh, and call sure. myself the superior. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sex of fest. course, of course, of course. Okay. But the the issue for probably Tom specifically, is he doesn't have all that internal monologue. He's just hearing you calling him a sex pest, which in many ways other people are going to autistically sure. read that it's incongruent. Your hyperbolization of itself is incongruent. So a lot of people are like he's been a sex pest the whole time. Even just like think so. That's going to be the problem of like the poisoned well before any of this starts. Right? Right? And the internal monologue doesn't matter because the viewers don't get it. No, everybody gets it. Obviously, when I no. say to my viewers, I don't, I don't, <laughs> who doesn't get it? Who doesn't get what's going on here? It's just not so erudite. I don't. I I don't know where he's losing. Hold it. on, stop, 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 stop. Tom. No, you misunderstood me. You misunderstood oh, sorry. Me. When His I say viewers that viewers, no, no, no. When the viewers don't get it, I mean the internal monologue you're having. About like, when I say sex pest, it's a small criticism. It's not that big of a deal. I'm hyperbolizing it a little bit for like content. The viewers 
don't well he only said the sex pest thing in chats didn't he and then kelly brought it up and then he said on stream he was like i don't really care about the label i'm talking about this specific behavior and i'll argue about that but he said that shit in the chat before he was even a stream like this is so retarded to get that they don't this get that internal this advice. wasn't for content or viewers when i first did it right just so we're both aware i'll point that out again when i said it in dgg chat that was like six months before i'd ever turned on a stream i gotcha Okay, yeah, so it's getting pointed out here. Okay. But then okay. it sounds like you memed about it on stream as well, right? Like previously, before he like before the Gooner arc. I I did meme Yeah, yeah, in the space between them debating about it and this new Kelly well not new, this month old Kelly shit. That he joked about it. Yeah. But Jason wasn't like calling him a sex pest. Like oh, oh, oh yeah, but Tom that guy's a sex pest. Or any shit like that. It was like pulling up the clip of him saying Oh yeah, I'm gonna rape somebody. Like it's it's stuff like that. Everyone knows that's a joke. Even about it on my stream, but again, I I am positive I can find on my stream multiple instances of me saying, no, 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 he's not actually like any danger. Okay, when you make the meme, I, th I think I've even gone pest. so far as to actually explain what I meant by sex pest, and people sure would has. go, yeah, oh, I don't agree times. with that definition. I go, oh, yeah, I don't really care about the definition. So when you're <laughs> calling him a sex pest and making that half kind of criticism, hyperbolized joke, you're giving everyone the impression that Tom has done something wrong. Most people understand that you're probably not meaning as bad as... Well, the thing is, Jason, I think Jason will say he's a creep and a sex pest now, but the issue is that Jason was being interrogated on his previous line of thinking <clears throat> and what his position was, right? What he was doing. He's not being asked about what his position is now. Tom Foolery Show Super Chatted $4.99. $4.99 from Tom Foolery Show. Tips to jerk hit on stream. 1. Ironic Coom Time 2. No pants off cam 3. Profit plus plausibly deniable. Done it several times. Thank <laughs> you for the one ninety nine. <laughs> <laughs> A sex pest because obviously why would you call yourself that but you are still implying obviously that he's done something wrong here that him being kind of like lusty sure. and like weird with women is wrong so prying mind in my chat is pointing out a situation with destiny and hassan where destiny actually said oh yeah didn't hassan go to that brothel that was shut down for trafficking kids it's like it's a comment you know is probably not serious some people could take it seriously, but you're just doing it to needle the other person. So it's a it, serious thing. It really happened. It is a real world event, but it's like a joke. You don't actually think they're a child predator or in this case, a sex pest. Do you understand why these two things are not analogous? No, go ahead. Explain it to me. Okay. So in the case, maybe I don't understand something. My understanding is that you are. I'm being uh, operatives are sending me clips. What's this clip? Oh, what's that? Jesus. Best girl to coom to. We got Maui with two votes. Hassan, not a girl. Uh, Sassafras seems to be a little bit confused on what a woman is. I feel like we've had that conversation more than enough times to where she should be able to recite to everybody what a woman is, but that's, that's okay. Uh... Sassafras uh, nominated Hassan with two votes. Sassafras with three votes. Saxon with five votes. Not so erudite with ten votes. Palm B with two. Queeman with three. Mantis with six. <laughs> Walker, Texas Ranger, Hockey Babe with two. Straighterade with two. Zonia with four. And Gorlock the Destroyer <laughs> with one. So the winner is not so erudite. Let's go. <laughs> Best girl to coom to. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> it's all making sense now, isn't it? It's all making sense now. Finally, Kyla feels affirmed in her femininity. Wearing a tux and having a fucked up bow tie.
<laughs> we built Tom's career back up. <laughs> we're doing some camaraderie of admitting that you were also doing something wrong. Correct? That's why you were calling no, yourself. No, I, I mean, I had a new perspective on the behaviors and I never thought I was really that hard on him in any way at all before. Um, so yeah, I, I just had a new perspective on the behaviors. It's like, hey, a bunch of people messaged me to come on stream. It's actually really easy. So you now you do, when you made the sex pack stress about yourself, you don't think you were doing anything wrong. No, but you do think a little bit that Tom was doing something wrong. You were just hyperbolizing it. There was a legitimate oh, not, criticism there. It was just so I did think that when I said it. But then obviously, once I started streaming and realized people just wanted to come on stream to hang out all the time, then I was like, oh, you know what? Probably not that bad. And that's why I keep leaning into it that I am a superior sex pest. I'm just better at it. Okay. So you also did something that was wrong, correct? You don't think it's wrong that you, you do it, but in the so past when you were saying again. it about Tom, spicy chat as a chatter, you did off. think it was like you were criticizing him. You were making hyperbolized criticism, right? I guess so. Great. Okay. I, I think we got there. So maybe we can go back to the Hassan thing. Maybe I don't have the context about the brothel situation. Was Hassan in any ways at all close to a brothel? Yes. What's no, that? Was that? Yeah, I mean, I was joking the whole time, Hunter, but I, like, I literally just don't want to have the argument the, anymore. The okay, thing okay, is okay, you know what? Let's not get into the Hassan stuff. It's like too much lore to like, go back and like, understand it. So uh, we'll just give it to you that maybe, maybe they're analogous. I have no idea. I can't well, no, you said, they're, you said they're totally disanalogous. I don't understand. Can you, can you explain to me what you said they don't overlap at all? Right. So the reason why they wouldn't overlap is in this case, I don't think Destiny was agreeing that he also did something a little bit wrong in the past or maybe did or didn't. Sure, he but also I did that way after I did the initial needling comments. So but but initially, it's again, it's the same thing. It's Destiny is making a hyperbolic statement based on an element of truth. No, you're calling Hassan a pedo for going to the, the German brothel or whatever it was that was busted later on for possibly trafficking kids. Like that, it, it is the same thing. He's making a... But obviously nothing Destiny does can ever be wrong. Nothing Destiny does can ever be wrong. And everything JSTalk does has to be wrong. And comments are completely analogous, right? If that's if Destiny were to go, oh, I also went to a brothel and uh, and they they also got shut down for this. I guess I'm the same as Hassan. If he did that later, would it mean that they're analogous suddenly? Because that that's the equivalent, right? Is later on I said, oh, I did the same thing, but it had nothing to do with me initially joking about it. Okay, when sorry, say that again. You it had nothing to do with you joking about it. What do you mean by that? So when I first joked about the sex pest stuff, it's the same yeah, as the needling Destiny. in the spicy chat. Yeah, it's the same thing as the Destiny thing. Okay. Yeah, that's that's what I'm comparing them. That's that they're directly analogous. Um, because it, because when they were both made, like then, when I, I'm talking about my men yeah yeah, people don't understand what the word analogous means. Two things are analogous if they're being compared for a similar trait. They're being they're disanalogous if they're not similar in that particular way. Yeah, exactly. It's got nothing to do with like because people do that thing, won't they? That it's the mark of a retard when you're arguing with them. Uh, you think X is like Y? Uh, 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 how can uh, how can you possibly believe? How can you possibly compare X and Y? And you'll explain and you'll say, well, it's because they both have the same trait and that's the trait that I'm criticizing. And so I'm using it to explain that you would think that thing is wrong for the same reason that you would think the other thing is wrong. That, that's... How can... How can you possibly compare those? Th how can you possibly compare that? It's, it's absolutely insufferable. It's like... Uh, I did have breakfast this morning. It's that level of engagement. <clears throat> Mental state was the same as Destiny's. Okay, can I understand Destiny and Hassan's relationship? Did Destiny say this after? Was he still friends with Hassan, or when he was like, what was? No, I don't they understand. Each other. This is like he made a this year comment ago. when they hated each other. Yeah, it was like a year ago. Wait, okay, I'm really confused. So did Destiny say it as a joke, or was he also criticizing him? Uh, you would have to ask him his state of mind. I'm saying that he said it. Explicitly, uh, to like, no, no, I'm not saying that's what she's doing. I'm saying that it was the truth, but framed in such a way that it made it funny. Hmm. There you go. I'm saying it, that's a way in which people will misunderstand what disanalogous means. The truth is, he went to a brothel that was later shut down for having children working in it. Granted, there's no proof that Hassan ever engaged with a minor, but because the brothel was shut down for that purpose, nothing he stated was factually incorrect, but it leads right. the person who's hearing it to believe that Hassan engaged with a minor. Did Destiny have a protracted time where he was criticizing Hassan for this thing, where he did in fact think, think Hassan had done something wrong in regards to the brothel? No, these would be the, the equivalent. So he never thought the initial was... statements, right? The equivalents would be the initial statements. Well, yeah, no, the statements. Destiny has since said very similar comments about the brothel. Because yeah, Destiny didn't Hassan. go debate Hassan and try to convince Hassan that that was a real thing. So did, did he merely go, Tee Hassan's a pedo? Or did he like 
genuinely believe Hassan was a pedo. That because that would be what's analogous. Went, if went, if he genuinely pedo, thought, which is okay. And what what the fuck would what would Destiny do if he went and debated Hassan on this? How would that go? I can tell you exactly how it would go. He'd be going, <laughs> well, I, I don't know. I don't. Know. Did, did you check the rages at the brothel? Did you check the rages? He'd be like acting like a snarky prick and like trying to needle in any way he can to try and make Hassan freak out. Because Destiny's still implying that it might be true, there might have been some malfeasance. That is exactly what Destiny would fucking do. So I understand what this cope is from Kyla, as if, uh, for some reason, for some reason, what Jace talks doing is, is, is like way out of bounds, like way out of the normal behavior for someone in DGG or for Destiny or for, for the way Destiny engaged with that topic about Hassan. It's fucking bizarre. It's so weird. It's like such a weird view of uh, how the internet works and how Destiny operates. It's so bizarre. Genuinely so unhinged. I did back when I did no. it. Spicy chat originally. Back when you did it, you legitimately thought the criticism was valid. You were just hyperbolizing it. I Steven has never thought his son is a pedo. He has never thought his son is a pedo at all. Yes, that's why these are just analogous. Best thing can do no wrong, my dude, Arena. In the case of his son, Wait, Steven was saying, I'm saying I never believed. I'm saying I called him a sex pest. That's the part. It's a hyperbolization, but yes. they're not analogous because Destiny has never believed that Hassan is a pedo, but made a pedo joke. Whereas you did believe that Tom was inappropriate sexually in the past. You just sure. at that point later changed your mind. This but is why Tom we're not analogous. Definitely, you could argue Destiny did believe that Hassan didn't vet the places he was going because he went to a brothel that was using human trafficking, right? Hey, none of this matters. None of this matters. Okay. Can we just move on? Since you, this is like a weird attempt, I think, to like make me look dumb, or like, I don't know what the fuck this entire diatribe was about. But they're up. not analogous. I brought <laughs> it up because you tried to say it's analogous. And I, said, I ain't gamer. I, I do know that because that's uh, <laughs> that's why I stopped being so much of a Destiny fan. I do, I do know that. That is the exact arc that, <laughs> that turned me away. That they're not they analogous. analogous. They're not analogous. Okay. They're not analogous because you believe Tom was doing something bad and Hassan, a Destiny, never thought Hassan was doing anything bad as regards to pedos, okay? That's why they're not analogous. That's why the two situations are the same. I think there's a miscommunication between the two of you. I don't think Justilk thinks what Tom was doing was actually bad back no, then. No, stop, stop, stop. Or am he I wrong? No, he's explicitly said that back then when he was needling him in Spicy Chat, he thought he was doing something wrong, just not as wrong as being sex pest. He was being hyperbolic, whereas Steven has never, ever, 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 ever thought Hassan is a pedo. When he's making the pedo jokes, he's just saying it because he knows it'll upset Hassan, not because he legitimately has wait, ever thought Hassan is a pedo. thought it was weird for him to go to a brothel. So, wait, you... that... <laughs> so it's okay to call someone a pedo if it's just top upset them <laughs> what 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 argument is she even trying to get at here i just <laughs> okay that's why they're not and i said they're not they analogous know. matters no, no, no. you did believe that tom was inappropriate sexually in the past you've just sure. at that point later changed your mind this but is why we're not analogous you could argue destiny did believe that Hassan didn't vet the places he was going because he went to a brothel that was using human trafficking right okay. none of this matters none of this matters okay can we just move on? Since you, this is like a weird attempt, I think, to like make me look dumb, or like, I don't know what the fuck this entire diatribe was uh, about. Oh, but they're up. not enough. Huh? What was that? It, I think this is a weird attempt to make me look dumb. How, where was that? That's so yeah, insecure. No. Analogous. I brought it up because you tried to say it's analogous, and I said they're not they analogous. analogous. They're not analogous. Okay. They're not analogous because you believe Tom was doing something. Well, and Jace looks just conceding, just fine to concede. Bad and Hassan, a destiny never thought Hassan was doing anything bad as regards to pedos. Okay, that's why they're not analogous. That's why the two situations. I think there's are not a the miscommunication same. between the two of you. I don't think just Stoke thinks what Tom was doing was actually bad back no, then. No, stop, stop, stop. Or am he I wrong? No, he's explicitly said that back then when he was needling him in spicy chat, he thought he was doing something wrong, just not as wrong as being sex pest. He was being hyperbolic. Whereas Stephen has never, ever, 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 ever thought Hassan is a pedo. When he's making the pedo jokes, he's just saying it because he knows it'll upset Hassan, not because he legitimately Wait, has ever thought Hassan is a pedo. What, what destiny would. Would Destiny probably not think that supporting a, a brothel that has child sex workers, he would probably think that's wrong, though. And it's like, wh whether whether you slept with the child or not, wh would, wouldn't he? Wouldn't you want to vet that if you're... Because, like, isn't that... De wasn't Destiny's criticism basically, like... <clears throat> Destiny's criticism for... Uh, here's my recollection, okay? Here's my recollection. It's basically Destiny's criticism of Son was that because he's a commie and he talks about all the work shit and, and, and you know, labor rights and all this shit... It's crazy for him to use an establishment for sex work that does not have ethical practices in the people that they employ. <clears throat> As a rich commie, commie thought leader, commie social media leader. Oh, that's, that's my recollection of the criticism there. So that is, that is still a point that Destiny is making. There is a behavior that he's criticizing and he is amping it up with hyperbolic language as a method of making it comedic and needling Hassan. That's my rough recollection of how that all went. Now, this is like two or three year old drama, maybe even four year old drama. So I could be off on that. 
But I think that is perfectly analogous to what JSTalk was doing. I think that is perfectly analogous. I think that totally fits. I think that's totally fine. <laughs> I, I don't know. If someone has an issue with that, I'm, I'm open. But I think, that to I think that's a perf totally fine analogy. I thought it was weird for him to go to a brothel where he didn't vet that they weren't using child trafficking or human trafficking. What if he really hey. did believe that? So it's a lesser criticism. He didn't. Wait, no, he literally didn't. And also, the reason that we got lost Wait, in this fucking annoying ass diatribe, just and to be clear, the reason that we're in this whole diatribe because of this analogy up. is because I brought it up and then I said, oh, okay, maybe I just don't know the lore. I'm going to move on because I didn't think it mattered that much. And you said, wait, what do you mean? You said they were disanalogous. Let's talk about it because yeah, you did want to make me look stupid. Because you did want to make me look stupid and you did want to get a W. However, they are not analogous. Can we fucking move on? Because it literally doesn't even matter, by the way, at all. Dude, she's like. And now it doesn't matter? Not so erudite super chatted $4.99, $4.99 from not so erudite, Hassan did nothing wrong, under rage fun time, it's just ironic under his standards. Thank you, thank you. That's Swede like super chatted $9.59, 100 Swedish krona from Swede, get you a woman who sweeps for you like NSE for destiny. Thank you, thank you. Thank you guys. Who cares? All we've established at this point, all I've tried to establish is whether you actually kind of had a criticism of Tom in the past, or if it was only memes, and it sounds like you're saying, in the past, initially I did, then I realized what was going on, and I felt differently, and then his comments about Kelly came out, and now I really think he's a sex pest. Is that correct? Uh, I wasn't really listening to the whole thing. I think it's pretty close, though. It's close enough we can move forward. I have to go get water. I'm actually dying. Okay. And just to be clear, I don't want to do any of this quibbling. If we could go forward not having fucking quibbling over genuinely unimportant details, that would be fucking awesome, okay? The only reason we're quibbling right now is because we couldn't get a clear answer about whether they were joking or not joking in the past and whether there was actually a criticism. <sighs> Hi, I'm Dave. NSC doesn't want to accept they're analogous because it means you have to acknowledge that Destiny did something wrong since she's been grilling JSTalk about an even milder comment for an hour. It does uh, feel that way a little bit, yeah. Shut up, Dave. You shut up, Stardust. I almost okay. got time. Oh, I'm going to lose my shit. These fucking chatters. Do you guys understand what just happened in this conversation? <laughs> Tom, um, do you understand what just happened? Boom time! Yeah, <laughs> Thank you. Uh, 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 uh. That was like the most painful three seconds of audio I think I've ever heard. Error like spurging and screeching like a harpy at chat because they're not agreeing with her on literally everything. And then Stardust butting him with an unfunny joke. Oh. Whoa. That is uh, bone chilling. That is, that is rough. That is really rough. That's what I was Why thinking. did we have to quibble for... Probably 40 minutes. Do you yes, know why we had saying, to quibble for 40 minutes? He was saying that what it is that, uh, you mean the Hassan thing? The, that, like, what does he said Why were we quibbling for the last 40 Because minutes? his position kept changing on whether or not he was serious from the beginning right. and whether or not he's M. serious Dave, now. Do you yeah. know why we just quibbled for 40 minutes? Do you understand now? Are we all Yeah, caught? I do, because uh, initially he was saying so that bad. He, it was a joke the whole time until he got up on the panel and said that it was a <laughs> thing. And that I thought we were moving on. Different. Did we not move on while I was gone? We were just making sure everybody understands. We're making sure everyone understands why we were quibbling and that we're not going to quibble anymore. I feel like that was a quibbling was Let's continue. You understood. Great. Yo, thank you for the five dollars and the four ninety nine. Freddie Woods super chatted five dollars, five dollars from Freddie Woods, who's Stardust. I only know Beckett's girlfriend. Uh, very good point. Very true. Max the Confessed Zero R super chatted four dollars and ninety nine cents, four dollars and ninety nine cents from Max the Confessed Zero R. Do you think NSE sweeps this hard to protect her bottom line or due to mental illness? I wouldn't want to make statements on the motivation, but I appreciate the 499. Thank you. Got it. Okay. So now that we're caught up, let's actually get to the messages that fucking Tom made in the chat. Um, so you guys are talking about uh, him pulling Kelly up on stream. Um, you make the joke not beating the sex pest allegations. Sounds like you made that joke before you saw his comments. Then he makes the comments, and then at that point you invite him in. And this is where we have a difference of opinion. Did you guys talk about the comments? Did we? I don't know. We'd have to pull up the stream. Yeah, uh, pe even people in my chat have said that we didn't really go over the chats. All I remember is him saying. I would uh, not trust his... anything from Tom or his stream uh, on this, by the way. Uh, I, I, I remember. Uh, uh, yeah, I mean, both, yeah, you guys are obviously gonna have super biased like, chats. Yeah, but, I remember yeah. Him like, bringing it up and then saying, "Hey, uh, can we move on to the chat?" I just mean and then Tom is like saying... clearly and explicitly lied like a dozen different times throughout this whole thing. He said one of my moderators was the person who asked to bring Kelly's Instagram up on stream because he knew he was one of my moderators. 
So I just I wouldn't trust anything Wait, he says. We have to verify. Talking about the jube tube accusation. He's referring to the jube tube accusation when he said jube. Oh, that's oh a, I wasn't up. lying. I thought it was jube. I immediately said it wasn't as soon as I found out. I, I didn't. What do you mean? Why you? Why would you call that a lie? Like this is that's insane to like take something where it's obvious. I just mix it up. There's no reason for me to lie about that. There, There's there no are, reason for me to say it's jube and not glitching. I got no benefit from that. Like there was absolutely no reason to call that a lie. That's insane, dude. I, I um, agree with just Silk that that uh, Tom has maybe been a bit weaselly in other parts of this, but I don't I don't think that he was in that in that part. So I, maybe I just to understand because I'm gonna assume just because not just fully retarded when you say that he lied um basically you're saying like he didn't just make a mistake do you think he was actively like trying to throw He's actively jube negligent the bus? actively negligent throwing jube under the bus because it threw culpability back onto my community Wait, oh that, i see so you think it could have been one of his chatters or one of his people who's doing that explicitly because of off, mantis he just didn't care to check no no no. i didn't know that jube was a, a, a mod for him first off he also was, yeah, that's yeah, jube has been in my community for a really long time there was no reason that he would be like at the time more associated with yours than mine that that doesn't even track okay so um okay so just to make sure i'm understanding so this is going to be a hard one to clarify. Um, just like, because I don't think, just like made a pretty serious accusation. I don't think he's like fully retarded. So he's explicitly lied. You said there's a couple things. Why don't we just get them all out so I understand the patterns? Yeah, let's go, because... th let's go through the Tom lies. Okay, Tom lies. Let's go. Why is Becky's girlfriend so dumb in this call? Oh, oh no. Why is Star dumb in this call? That's what you meant. Uh, I don't know why Becky's girlfriend is in this call. She doesn't really belong here. She's not really adding anything. Didn't you become a J Stop mod office started? Uh, yeah, I think so. What's really helpful in understanding how people lie, especially intentionally, is if there's a pattern consistently of how they lie. So, in your view, we'll just go with what you think, Jay. He lied about Jube uh, being the one who brought up Kelly Jean's Instagram. And we're not going to fight it yet. We're just going to understand Jay's position. What were the other lies that you have? Because it sounds like people have said that there's been a number of lies. A number of lies. Um, <clears throat> thank you. So, I want to say there's some stuff that I can't go into because of what you said earlier around the person who doesn't want to be mentioned. Okay. Um, shit. Um, could we vague post about it a little bit? So, like, not say name? I mean, or I could, could just ask up, that like... individual if we. This is the Tom lied because Jube was his mod. Uh, well, yeah, that's uh, that's probably. Not... I don't think that's how I match stuff. I think he became a mod afterwards, but I think J Stalk might be confusing it because I think what had happened a week before is I was on J Stalk stream, and I saw Jube in chat, and I said some shit like, "Oh, Jube, I see you around here now, and not in Tom's chat so much. What, what's that? What's that all about?" And then Jube came on stream, and I basically grilled him about why you're not in Tom's community so much. And I think he probably became a mod, like, that was probably like a week before, two weeks before the Kelly stuff. And then he probably became like a mod a week after. So, I mean, yeah, the timeline's probably wrong there, but it's all around the same period. You can vague around it and not say their names or anything, but like, could you broadly outline what the sure, lie is? Sure, I, I could also be wrong. I could also be wrong about when the mod thing happened. I, I just don't know. It's basically Tom expressing what she had said to him and her feeling like she had lied about him, her being okay, or with, with him doing certain things. Uh, there's also all of the lies with Sassafras as well. Okay, so hold on. So just because I want to make sure. So Sassafras, um, I don't so have he portrayed a conversation with a person to others to, or publicly that made it seem like she was okay with certain things when she actually wasn't. Is that the lie? Publicly, yes, publicly. So publicly he said, she's fine with it, and she wasn't. Yeah, okay, that gotcha, gotcha. turns with them and they were fine with it. And fine with it being like the things that got leaked, basically? The gooning. Or the, the nature gooning. of the relationship. Okay, yeah, the, gooning, the, the gooning. Wait, what? Wait, hold on. I don't even know what the claim is from Zach. What is it that I lied about what? Uh, let's, hold on. I'm so sorry. We're going <laughs> to, A, not say the name. B, uh, we're just going to get right. the list of J's like list of like lies or whatever that there are so that we have an idea of like the pattern because i suspect of just like it's saying you are actively and intentionally lying it's probably because he's okay. noticed a pattern okay. so that would be my suspicion because he's decently like cautious in how he yeah. talks about i just don't okay. i mean i'm not cautious at all i'm super reckless in how i talk but with this i'm, I'm actually very confident yeah so I, that's I, fair. i'm gonna have to go get, yeah, yeah. get more time stamps but there would also be the times where he said he apologized to kelly and hadn't apologized said he apologized and he didn't and this was in the first stream altogether i or later like when he would go on wix yeah sure it was probably one of the times on Wix thing, but he did say sort of, I think he said to like the air, I'm sorry for making you feel that way, which is not really an apology. Yeah, no, that was, that was, that was not a good one. <laughs> After making an apology video that said, I apologize for absolutely nothing. Um, so okay. That was absolutely I need a time, not... I'm going to work on a timeline. Okay. I've got, I think I've got it so well. I need the timeline of the fucking Tom. What if, why, why? Uh, a video saying I'm not apologizing. Um, you said you did apologize on Wix. Was the video saying you were not apologizing? Before or after Wix thing where you said you did apologize? I believe that's after. I, I, I'm almost positive, but I could be wrong. So you apologized but... on Wix, and then afterwards you streamed and said, I'm not apologizing. Yes. The, Am I the, understanding you? Yes. Yeah. Okay. I have a lot of questions about why that happened. Sure. Uh, I'm not going to lie. I apologize on Wix. I'm writing these things down. And then... Was the non-apology on the stream with the leak? 
No, that was the wake panel. So this is the the stream after where I'm kind of like going okay. over. This is, it feels like it's grinding to a halt right now. Gotcha. Um, okay, um, Jay, are you still looking for receipts or can you talk to me about the SAS uh, advance Um, I could probably just get you a timestamp to like Chud's VOD where he specifically starts talking about the ways Tom lied there. And then I believe Tom also said Chud was lying about stuff for Chud just saying pretty much things that I think he got leaked directly from SAS as well. How the fuck are we still on the timeline of Jay Stalk's mindset for a joke? Welcome to chat, counterpoints. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's pretty crazy. It's pretty crazy. It's way too long on this pretty insignificant detail as far as uh, the, the broader drama goes. Like I say, it's relevant if you want to arbitrate the disagreement and the, the conflict between Tom and Jay Stalk. I'm sure this is a little bit relevant to know how Jay Stalk felt about it initially. But when you're analyzing the actions past that point, not really, doesn't really matter at all. So Tom said Chud was lying about stuff that Chud released that Sassafras has said to Chud? Or somebody around him. I'd have to go back and find the precise. Yeah, yeah, sure. I'm just trying to make sure I'm understanding. I'm not trying to like really on this. I'm just trying to make sure I'm getting the correct understanding. Yeah, so obviously we haven't looked into this in like two or three weeks. So yeah. now I don't have any of the time stamps running this. I just remember being completely shocked every single time. Don't forget Zonia said Tom lied too. Sure. Some of it's here. None of it's there. Kate's name, what are you doing? Um, Tom, I'm going to DM you something. I just don't mm -hmm. say it, obviously. I'm just wanting to confirm something that is in my chat, but it's obviously a private. So. Okay. Um, blah, blah, blah. I, I'll be honest, guys. I'm just itching to go through the linguist and rhetoric coach stuff. I, I'm just, that's all I'm here for tonight. Okay, guys? I'm just going to be upfront with you. That's what I'm itching for. I'm jonesing. Okay. <laughs> Mantis is in the chat, apparently. Oh, good times. Beaches in all three of them. I'm so the Sassafras stuff exactly. is just basically Sassafras saying Tom lied about the reasons they, they weren't hanging out anymore, and also lied about them being friends still, lied about them splitting amicably. Those were all lies. Um, okay. Splitting amicably. So like in Sassafras's perspective, basically, there's no reason that Tom could presume that they're friends, that they've split no, amicably. No reason. Actually. Literally no reason. And did she... I'm not going to ask for the DMs. Did she provide DMs to anybody about this? Um, like to like outline or was it? Yeah, <laughs> but I mean, we, we just asked Tom. Tom, she pretty explicitly said you guys weren't going to hang out anymore and you were done, right? Uh, in the call, we literally said that we were splitting amicably and that we could text each other if we needed anything. Okay, so you're saying she's lying then when she comes out? I haven't heard that, her that said, not the say this. So I, if, if okay. she said this, I haven't heard it. Okay. Tom, I'd really so there's no reason to believe that they split. Mm -hmm. Um, after you guys like I, no I do make fun of his addiction I do make fun of Tom's addiction yeah I make fun of Tom for being a junkie of course yeah I do but Erudite, I, from what I heard Erudite wasn't just saying oh you're making fun of it that wasn't her she kept saying using it against him using it against him because we're using stories that he's told about his addiction to make statements about him now. That's what she's taking issue with. But I, I don't, that's retarded. Because if you use stories from your past to build a brand, you can't then cry that people are analyzing those stories and saying, okay, well, what does this story say about you now? Do we see any traits that you exemplify in this story in your behavior now? Do we think this story is true? That you, you can't you can't just turn around and go, well, well, I I was an addict. That no, that doesn't work, especially when Erudite uses the the addiction as well to explain some of his behaviors. So it's like, okay, well, 
simultaneously were saying you can't talk about the addiction, say anything negative about him, but you can talk about the addiction or the downplay agency and responsibility and, and control how people feel about him in a positive way. So it, it's you're, you're playing both sides, you're talking about both sides of your mouth. It's, it's very annoying. But we'll get to it. In your mind, amicably ended the relationship. Did she... Did they ever reach out to you? Did they ever like seem interested in talking? Did you ever reach out to them and did they respond? I did reach out. I, when uh, somebody had said that oh, she was like unhappy with the statement that I made in Discord. So I reached out to her and asked her if she wanted me to change it, why she was upset, what, uh, what she wanted me to do, and she did not respond. Okay. So after that, did that give you a cue that things were not amicable or? How yeah, of that? course. Yeah. Okay. So you agree now that you did not end amicably? I would say yes. After so, something for sure seemed to change after that call. Yeah. Gotcha. Um, I said Chad was not. Yeah, apparently don't have a mark for the apology, so I don't know exactly when it fell. Wow, enthralling. I'm so glad that we're grinding to a halt for this. Holy fuck, let's... This is what I watch Twitch ball content for. Why don't you give us some uh, s some open mic, Starless? Uh, Starless, there's, there's, they're there. Feel free. Look, it's, it's, it's like a blank canvas. You can paint your comedy stylings onto it, Stardust. Why don't you use this opportunity? Try out that stand-up routine you've been workshopping. Maybe put the banana on screen. I don't know. Maybe. Beckett's girlfriend. I'm, uh, I'm also not looking any further for stuff, so if we want to move on to another oh. part of the discussion. Okay, okay. Um, so, uh, the lies that I understand it so far, Jube, so he claimed that Jube was the person who asked about Kelly Jean's thing. Uh, he claimed that they, uh, he said that another individual that he like, pulled up on screen was fine with it, um, that um, he lied about the nature of a relationship after like that relationship terminated, and he would say, and he definitely should have known that it wasn't terminated, but I don't know specifically like why he should have known that him claiming that, that they said were good, but I, obviously that's what so I don't really know. Um, there's something about Chud, Tom saying Chud was lying, about, I don't know, there's something about that. And then he said that he apologized, but he actually hadn't apologized yet. Those are like the, is there anything else that I'm missing? I just want to make sure I like have Sure, there's also like the history of him talking about how he's been a pathological liar before. It's like a whole bunch of stuff. With her. Yeah, an interview with you. Yeah. Um, with her? With you. With you. History of him. So even there, what did Talk just say? History of him being a path pathological liar before. Okay, cool. Yeah, right. And he told you he's a pathological liar before. Yeah. Well, I think he said used to be. Was that, did you talk about that when you were, okay. when you were in the I think he said used to be. He's been a pathological liar before. I think he said used to be. Re repeatedly saying, used to be, used to be, used to be, used to be. He was talking about he was lying to his Wait, did you not talk about how fun it was to set to play the game and lie to people and manipulate them? I thought this was a whole thing. Yes, that's what On my stream? Yes. I believe that we, I, what I remember, oh, that's not, I don't fully remember, my remembrance of the stream is that when we talked about it, he was talking specifically about his experience as an addict. And like, mm -hmm. I don't think he was saying it as a, I could be wrong. And so Jay, if you have like a clip of like, mm -hmm. me being a fucking dumbass and Kim being like, no, I still think that this is awesome. My I've never even watched the stream, so uh, I don't have any clips. I just watched oh, it. The, the part that he's referring to is, let's hear I've seen like a 20 second clip here. Go ahead, yeah. Uh, the part that he's referring to is when you two are talking, he starts talking about a job that he had and his boss asked him a question and he lied to his boss. And then when he was thinking about it, he's like, wait, why the hell did I just lie about that? There was no reason for me to lie. And then he goes on to tell you that he's a pathological liar and sometimes he likes to see how far he can go with a lie or something to that effect. But the part about the... talking to his boss was definitely yeah, one yeah, of the Yeah, so the main, the main thing that I'm having a hard time remembering with this situation is that if he had said, I'm a pathological liar and like, I kind of like enjoy the thrill of it and ended there, I think that would have like put us in really, really, really massive red <laughs> exactly really I just want to make understand, did he talk about it in a past tense? Here's the thing as well, right? I went back and I looked at my coverage of that clip as well because I was like, how did I how did I present that? Did I say Tom's still a pathological liar and that there's this is proof that he's still a pathological liar? All I did, I literally that part of the clip, I just let that play. I just let that play. Because I remember why I did that. I was like, I don't want to make any firm statements on this, because at the end of the day, 
it's a behavior as part of his addiction but there's no way to truly know whether it's carried on till now it's just a concerning sign so i'm not going to make a firm statement on whether it is or is not connected to what he's doing now because you simply can't so i even went back so for all this fucking unethical drama farming bullshit that i get fucking tarred with i don't actually go and say this crazy fucking shit that people seem to have an issue with but now erudite's gonna sit here and wax poetic rage about how it's being used against him it's being used against me it doesn't mean he's a pathological liar now and jay stalk even though jay stalk this whole time has said used to be he said he was he was a pathological liar. he's been a pathological liar in the past but erudite's go no that doesn't mean he's not one that it's fucking so annoying actively addicted and saying that that was something he did and now in recovery he doesn't do the same i don't know if it had to do with the addiction part of portion of the thing i think this was separate but i could be wrong i literally have uh, to put right here i, can, I watched I it a while ago so. Yeah. Okay, so just to be clear um if it was just while he was in addiction, um, I want to be really cautious. I'm super not comfortable smearing people's character just based on what they like do in the midst of their addiction alone and to say that, that like Also, it's worth pointing out, is Tom's is still on Suboxone, no? That's you you aren't totally recovered if you're still on Suboxone. Am I wrong? Am I crazy? Perpetuates into sobriety. It can sometimes, so I'm not dismissing it as like a source. I just want to be like, oh, there's also his insane heist stories that seem to change constantly. I mean, honestly, why he went to prison. Tom, were you doing grand theft, like a uh, grand larceny when you went to prison, stealing people's jewelry and stuff? It was, I, I wouldn't call it grand larceny, but yes, I was stealing jewelry. I'm not true, things. wrong. Okay. Is that why you went to prison? It, that's one of the times I got arrested. I, that's not the time that I uh, went to prison. But the, um, the, yes, the clip that they're talking about, literally, they show me. So, talking about like when I was 18, this is fucking 17 years ago, where I'm talking about like improving, like having to change aspects of my life, being an addict for a long time, going to prison, then getting out and having to like relearn how to be a normal person and having to change like a lot of bad patterns that I learned. And I'm guessing I'm talking to you about like how it is that I had to change these things. And I was just kind of like. That's 12 step myth bullshit with no science behind it. I'm not, I'm not doubting that Suboxone is st important for stable recovery. I'm sure that's true. I'm sure that because of all the chemical issues with, or biological issues with the addiction, most of the time that you are going to need something to win you off. And I, I'm sure that's the case. However, the thing I, I've always heard that because you are still supplementing that dependency, you, you've not actually kicked the addiction. Courtney oh, Game I Super Chat at $5. Be, $5 from Courtney Game. Freeloaders, hit the like button, please. If you can, winking face, heart. Thank you for the five dollars. Thank you, thank you. I mean, yeah, it's contentious even in chat, so I guess. I mean, I, I, I lean towards. Doubting it, but. I see it's contentious. I guess what I would have to see, Spud Gun, to really convince me that's just totally untrue, is something set is like actual evidence about the behaviors related to addiction going away when on Suboxone. <clears throat> like the, not just the behaviors as in the, the drug seeking, but like the behaviors as in all the other shit that goes around with it, like the actual ways you fuck up your life and <clears throat> that's what i'd want to see specifically okay also liar that i would just lie about things that i didn't need to and then i had to relearn like how to not do that shit anymore but they literally take that clip and each time say see he literally admits that he's a pathological liar how did nobody notice this at the again time? nick you're not addressing the point so boxing can make your chance recovery 100 times better that's not addressing the point and you can rewind and you can figure out why that's not addressing the point I'm not going to explain it to you. Admit that he's a pathological liar. Every single time somebody plays a clip, instead of saying, oh, this is a clip for him talking about like himself from 17 years ago, maybe he's still doing this. That's never what they say. They always say, look, he yeah. literally admits to this. Um, am I able to share into your Discord? So Jay just sent me a clip. Um, do you mind if we just watch the full context? Because so I don't fully remember this conversation. Yeah, sure. um, can I share into your into this call? Is that possible? Yeah, I just want to ask Tom, uh, point blank. Did you actually imitate someone? Oh, is the parts to... getting clean? That's not the point. That is actually not the point at all. R rip off other drug dealers? Yes. Okay. Was this why you were actively addicted? Yes. And selling at the time, yeah. Um, Okay, hold on. Let me put the up there. Go live. Can you guys see this? Yep. Um, and if so, let's make sure you guys can hear it. Oh, that was so cute. Can you guys all see it? Can you hear it? It's mm -hmm. the most important change. Yes, 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 we're good. Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay. Changes that you made right up the top. Yeah, I can't hear it. I was like a compulsive liar for sure. Like literally would just do it without thinking. Like on accident, like um sometimes. And so when hold I Hold on, my my stream can't working... I'm so sorry. Um give me like yeah, one second. Yeah, yeah, it's fucked on. I think I think it's on the same page about that. I probably can. Okay, let's try 240. Uh, like right up the hot. I was like a compulsive liar for, for sure, like literally would just do it without thinking, like on accident, like um, sometimes. And so when I, I, I was working, um, I think at a subway at the time, I was running a subway. I remember like actually telling my boss something and seconds later being like, shit, dude, I don't know why I just lied about that. That was stupid. Like I, I literally just made that up. My bad. And uh, them looking at me like I was the freaking weirdest person in the world. <laughs> it's so embarrassing. Dude. But maybe like small little white lies or was it everything? Like they would be both small little white lies and big lies to get out of like, situations. 
Yeah, sometimes it wasn't even like big wise to get out of situations. It was just I like, just like, it's don't you vape because yeah. I enjoyed the game. So like when I was selling drugs and all that, there was just it, it was part of the game is to like manipulate everybody else around you. So we had a crew, but we weren't like we were always trying to get over on each other as well, and we were always trying to backstab each other. And um, we were also doing like different. Um, I tell stories about like where there were other drug dealers that I was friends with that I would get my girlfriend to tell them we broke up and see if she could go over to their house and then she would go over and hang out with them and then she would text me and be like, hey, their drugs are in this spot and then we would pull up in SUVs and like SWAT uniforms and break in and take all their drugs and uh, and leave like we were the police and um, crap like that. And so yeah, we were always like trying to get over on one another as well. And so it just became normal to always lie to one another, to always try to uh, get over on one another. And eventually you were just like streaming webs that weren't even connected to something in hopes that they would be connected to something way later down the line. That would help. So like, yeah, this gets, okay, right. Let's, let's watch this. We, we want to see this properly. We want to know exactly what happens in this clip. Fresh. Um, and if so, let's make sure you guys can hear it. Wow, it looks so cute. Can you guys all see it? Can you hear it? Some mm -hmm. of the most important changes. Yes, 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 yes. We're good. Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay. Changes that you made right up the hop. Me, I can't hear it. <laughs> I was like a compulsive liar for, for sure. Like literally would just do it without thinking. Like on yeah. accident. Like um, sometimes. And so when Hold I- Hold on. I, my, my stream I can't hear working... it. I'm so sorry. Um, give me like one second and then I'm going to back it up and then we'll go. It is kind of quiet on here. I don't know if you can turn up the video. I probably can. Okay. Let's try 240. Uh, like right out the hop. I was like a compulsive liar for, for sure. Like literally would just do it without thinking like yeah. on accident, like, um, sometimes. And so when I, I, I was working, um, I think at. A subway at the time i was running a subway i remember like mm -hmm. actually telling my boss something and seconds later being like shit dude i don't know why i just lied about that that was stupid like i i literally just made that up my bad and uh them looking at me like i was the freaking weirdest person in the world <laughs> so embarrassing dude would but... they be like small little white lies or was it everything like they would be both small little white lies and big lies to get out of like situations Thank you, Connor, for the 499. Counterpoints 40k super chatted $4.99. $4.99 from Counterpoints 40k. Proud to be a Queedophile. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, the Woo Bucks yeah, coming so in. Sometimes it wasn't even like big I'm benefiting from trickle down progressive just victory just funding. Like just for something interesting because I enjoyed the game. So, like, when I was selling drugs and all of that, there was just. It, it was part of the game is to like manipulate everybody else around you so we had a crew but we weren't yeah so when i covered this the first time we did point this out that he says uh working at a subway running a subway and then talking to my boss which <clears throat> it's just a bit of a weird set of phrasing there's ways that could be totally true where he's saying like he's like the, the store manager and he's talking to like an area manager like that I can see that phrasing maybe working, but it's just a, uh, it is weird phrasing. It does raise an alarm bell. It does make me immediately go, uh, is, is this, but whatever. Like we were always trying to get over on each other as well. And we were always trying to backstab each other. And, um, we were also doing like different, um, so listen to how he presents this. It's not, he's not saying like. Oh, I was such a terrible, I was such an awful person. This was such terrible stuff I did. He's saying, oh yeah, it was like a game. We were like backstabbing each other. We were like trying to beat each other. We were trying to like get one over. It's like, that's the presentation here. I tell stories about like where there were other drug dealers that I was friends with that I would get my girlfriend to tell them we broke up and see if she could go over to their house. And then she would go over and hang out with them. And then she would text me and be like, hey. Dude, they were like, they were like light and me. They were like and light and me. pull up in SUVs. Dude, that's so like, cool swat uniforms and break in and take all their drugs and uh and leave like we were the police and um crap like that and so yeah we were always like trying to get over on one another as well and so it just became normal to always lie to one another to always try to uh get over on one another and eventually you were just like streaming webs that weren't even connected to something in hopes that they would be connected to something way later down the line that would help yeah. you and so yeah you just ended up lying for for no reason sometimes just thinking it might yeah, be yeah i can't imagine some
Okay, I'm guessing that's the end of the clip, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, there's the whole thing about him doing the SWAT stuff as well, which was, unless that was in That's there. That's what I just Again, talked about. It was in there. Quite, I'm not really following all, all along that much. I've seen it before, though, so. Okay, okay. So um, I feel like, I, so basically, just so you know what I saw, Jay, he basically, um, he mentioned the SWAT stuff there, how he would, like, call SWAT on his bros and his and whatnot. Um, and, like, so pretend that there's, like, a drug bust, that they, like, reach in, like, get the drugs. We used to dress up as SWAT and break in, like, fuck with them. I think that was, we used to dress up as SWAT. That's what I heard. Is that the SWAT stuff you're referring to, Jay? Yeah, yeah. Okay, gotcha. Um, okay. Um, what's the purpose in this clip? Maybe you can explain uh, this to me. I'm not so understanding point this. out that he's making up stories that are so unbelievable. That so again, it's one in a, in a me many... Many, many, many tall tales that Tom tells for which he provides no evidence, and we already see dishonesty in the things we can verify, so the things that are totally unverifiable for which he will not present evidence are called into question. That's the point. So the more Tom, tall tales, tall Tom tells, tall tales Tom tells, the more of those there are, the more unlikely it becomes that all of them are totally true. Yeah, like these are these are drug dealers. Like not even Tom says later on, I believe, that they weren't even successful drug dealers. He was doing all the drugs. So they didn't have a lot of money. He was working at Subway, didn't have a lot of money, spending all on drugs. Yet somehow they've got SUVs, SWAT uniforms, firearms, <clears throat> convincing enough clothing to imitate SWAT uniforms properly to where no one's gonna suspect it and not just blow their fucking heads off. Each one of these stories. Strange credulity. I think Jason says this. These all. <laughs> I don't know. Counterpoints 40k super shatted $1.99. $1.99 from Counterpoints 40k. Vaccine. Biden. Trans. Woo will win. <laughs> Thank you for the $1.99. That literally nobody believes him. Nobody thinks okay. that actually happened. Literally nobody thinks that actually happened. This is completely made you, up. You don't believe that drug dealing addicts were pretending to be SWAT to break into steal each other's stuff. Yeah, I'm just like I don't believe he was a cat burglar who stole a bunch of jewelry from people. Um, Aside from his parents. Oh, thank you for the so uh, so refreshing memberships. Thank you guys. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Somebody with who's worked in the addiction field, I'm not going to lie, none of this is like really shocking to me. Um, I, I don't know if it's true. Um, I've definitely been experienced to my clients doing significantly more extreme things. Um, sure. Yo, thank you for the five gifted from Freddie Woods too. Let's fucking go. Thank you. Let's, let's go yeah. beyond the addiction stuff then. Um, Tom, can you tell me about your work as a rhetoric coach? It, there is no job called a rhetoric coach. A rhetoric coach is a label. Okay, here we go. All right, all right, all right. Here we go. Okay. There's a cat burglar who stole a bunch of jewelry from people. Um, aside from his parents. So as somebody with who's worked in the addiction field, I'm not going to lie. None of this is like really shocking to me. Um, I, I don't know if it's true. Um, I've definitely been experienced to my clients doing significantly more extreme things uh, sure. than this. Let's, let's go yeah. beyond the addiction stuff then. So that phrasing of that is right. That, that's fine. That's a fine thing to say. To say that, that's not. Just that story alone does not make me think he's a liar. That is a fine way to present that. That is not how she presents it the whole way. I'm pretty sure I heard she, her go much harder. Her go much harder if she said something, something like, you just don't know addicts. You just don't know addicts. But we'll see. Um, I was like, tell, tell me about stuff your work as a rhetoric on, so coach. Like, it, my there recollection is no is... job called a rhetoric coach. A rhetoric Rough. coach is a label that I made up for fucking streaming, where I was counterpoints forty k super chatted one dollar and ninety nine cents. One dollar and ninety nine cents from counterpoints forty k. Twump bad. Earth one million year old. Israel heart. So yeah, boot. Thank you for the one ninety nine. So, yeah, this boots, this is, this is sort of my failing on it. Everyone who's been to rehab or group therapy knows five Toms and knows SWAT impersonators. Yeah. It feels like it's, you can say, yeah, 
addicts do all this crazy stuff. Addicts have all these crazy lives. This is what happens with addicts. But you can also say, yeah, addicts make up these tall tales. Addicts bullshit about their history. You can equally say both, possibly even more so the latter. So it's just not a good argument. The, okay, the, you never intimated anywhere that you were paid to be a rhetoric coach? No. The job that I worked okay, was here we in go. linguistic marketing for <clears throat> franchisees <throat> that owned a bunch of different restaurants. And in that, yes, that's like the, the job, the only job that you could... Uh, refer to but no i did not get paid to be a rhetoric coach i coached so people you don't think you misled people politics. about your qualifications and your job titles when realistically you were basically assigned to teach new people so so i i never you're saying that what was that linguistic marketing or in linguistic marketing that owned a bunch of different restaurants and in that yes that's like the the job the only job that you could uh refer to but no i did not get paid to be a rhetoric coach i, I did not get paid to be a rhetoric coach. you don't think you misled people about your quality. so so what tom says linguistic marketing is is that he wrote scripts for phone calls during lockdown between the the people taking the orders at pizza restaurants and the customers so that's his linguistic marketing experience okay i believe and he also got training in it i think he said from a law firm who worked at uh, doing cold calling for remortgaging.